Session six, is it six? Are we on six now? Yeah. Six. No, seven. Jesus. Okay, we're on week seven. Cool. Um, because obviously our episodes go on. You know, if we do two in a week, that's two weeks. You know, I like continuity. So number seven. Session seven. So you guys are relaxing at the moment because it's it's you're getting a very big sense just to calm before the storm. Brindle is very quiet. Um, the body of the mayor has been dragged into the... Uh, he's not dead, but he's been dragged into the inn. And he's been locked in one of the rooms there. And he's been making quite a big racket uh, ever since. Have you guys have had a day to recuperate? And uh, Bjorn, who was uh, one of your men from last time, um, ridiculously brave, has gone out and scouted. He's scouting the wilderness. And he's scouting the, the dead Thane Gorge bridge. Um... He's done that of his own accord, uh, and you heard that he just left to do that. So, so he didn't ask to go and do that. He he just gone and done it. Um, and that's what's going on at the moment. Where about is everyone in the town? Where would you like to be in the town? Uh, you, you've had a day to recover. You've all got full health. You've all got everything back to normal. So, where would you like to be? I'm aware that this is very um, blurry on my screen, but there's nothing I can do about that. It's loaded up on mine. It's just going to take a second. Yeah. Uh, Androcles would probably be, at this point, He's um, he would have spent a bit of the morning just kind of prepping his weapons and his armor. Mm -hmm. And then once that's done, you know, depending on the... He'd probably either be pacing the walls, or if Nameless starts, he'd be helping drill the men, just because, you know, there's, there's a big fight coming. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, last time... Obviously, in front of the in front of the the town of Brindle, you guys you went and fought a rather large force of Falkir, who were crossing the bridge at that time. So, what the hell they were doing, you don't know. You know, yeah, they may they may have been coming down towards the actual town. They may have been doubling back on themselves. We don't know for now. Um, but that did antagonize them to come and attack you, unfortunately, and they did so. They came, they came in and and they tried to get you to surrender the town. You did not, and the mayor ordered the town gates opened, and you performed a impromptu coup and got rid of the mayor. So, would you guys say you you're do? taking over the town, or would you say you're just making sure that people are okay? Making sure that people are okay. I think uh, Shen would be taking over. Okay, and you did ask last time. Why uh, there's a person with a Chinese name? Uh, Shen is actually Chinese, or well, she's not. So she's spreading coronavirus. No, um, she no, she's actually Asian. Yeah, yeah. So she's not a. Uh, she's not. She's not from around here. So she's a mercenary who's made a way to found a way to Britain somehow. Is uh, going on. So what is everyone doing? So we know what Androcles is doing. What's Arden doing? What's she doing at the moment? Um, she would have been using the whetstone on her sword and yep. on the dagger. Beyond, just make a note of that somewhere else, but what is she doing? Like, like what, what, what's she been doing? She's been doing that for two days, or a day. Oh. So, so, so what, what, what's she been doing? Um, she's mainly been walking around making sure that, um, for example, the people who came with them from Kale, like the family, that they're settled. Sure. Um, and just kind of hanging around the borders trying to see if of the town seeing mm -hmm. if she can see if anyone's coming in and then waiting for a chance to interrogate the mayor at the at the northern gate here you can actually see because that's going towards the gorge you can actually see there are a lot of campfires out there but they're too far away like a mile or so down the road and uh, so you can see a lot of smoke rising from there and it's intermingling with the smoke from the actual towns that have been burning that direction as well so you can't really make it how many men there are but uh you, you know so you can you can either go out there and scout yourself, or you can just carry on doing what you're doing. It's up to you. Um, uh, no, I would just tell the others when I had seen that. Cool, cool. I mean, I mean that, that's for everyone to see, so I'm assuming they've, they've seen that already. But, you know, okay. but, uh, yeah, yeah, that's good of you for reporting back there. I'm really sure they know what they're doing. So what's Lochnir up to? What's he doing? What's he doing in the meantime? Or who's he doing in the meantime? It's drugs and rock and roll. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Nothing else to do. I'm going to sit in the pub and drink and shag. <laughs> yeah. Same time, possibly. Cool. Um, so, 
Lochnir has, as you know, he, 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 do you reckon he, he's trying to work things out of a system, or is he, or is it just, this just him? This is what he does. It's him. This is what he does when there's nothing else to do. Yeah, nothing else when to you, do. When you live a life, uh, oh, you know, of a mercenary, you could die at any minute. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to have every opportunity with both hands and, and get absolutely wasted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, cool. No, I'm fine with that. Um, so. Uh, nameless. Where is nameless up to right now? Where, where is he? Where is he about? I mean, I'm still pretty spooked by the uh, the invisible elf incident. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of playing on his mind a little. Um, but otherwise, I guess he's uh, drilling, drilling his men. That sounds wrong, but yeah. touche. <laughs> Line up. Um, and uh, yeah, patrolling the walls and stuff like that. Just uh, preparing. Excellent. Cool. Um, and and Andrew Cleese, you've been to before, so, so we know what everyone is preparing. Everyone's making sure that they, they've got what they need. So, you've all got equipment that you need, haven't you? You've all got all that sort of stuff. Um, that night in the tavern, um, you all are congregated in there. Just, you know, it's, it's the normal evening fair, you know, the tavern. Um, the tavern is actually, I made a mistake last time, it's actually over here. This is the tavern. The blue building is the tavern, and generally things are going pretty well in there. You know, you know, you know people are in good spirits. There are a few, there are a few bits of uh, worrying news coming back from the um, from the road of, of Falkir abroad, walking around and scouting around. Um, so what's going on? Like, I, obviously, Lochnir at this stage. How long has he been drinking for at this stage? If we're at eight o'clock at night. About ten hours. Cool. So session. let's let's roll for wasted then. Now roll, roll me a d twenty and add a ten to it. Mm -hmm. Higher is the more drunk you are. Um, mm -hmm. I would actually say for you that's merry. Um, so yeah, seventeen with the with the modifier, you're pretty merry. You know, you know, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. Um, but. A few of the lads do come over from from your troop, and they lay down a deck of cards and they're like, "Yeah, did you fancy a game?" Of course. Actually. Awesome. So 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 they they sit down with you, and um, Andrew Cleese, where about to you? Are you are you brooding, or on your stool, or are you actually in the room? Um, if he's been working with, uh, well, I mean, one of the reasons he doesn't usually spend that much time in the inn is because. He can't really drink or eat any of the stuff that they have here. No. You know, I mean, there was a couple of uh, Viking bodies that he's been, you know, nibbling on here and there, but it's getting to the yeah. end of that. Yes. It's getting to the end of that. So he's kind of getting a little anxious and waiting for this fight to begin because, you know, he's getting a little hungry. Cool. So, so, so is he in he, the room, is he, or is he, or is he back outside? He'll, he'll, he'll be in the room for a bit, but he'll kind of like... Cool be settling uncomfortably for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, at some point he's going to just step out when things get a little too, um, you know, too much. But too lucky. For, for, yeah. yeah. But for, for the time being, since he's been working and training, uh, he'll sit with the guys for a bit just to help, you know, cool. keep everyone yeah, happy. So Felicity is sitting next to you, Lochnir, and she just get, brings over another couple of ales. She says, um, deal me in. And she uh, points over. She she nods her head over to where Andrew Cleese was sitting by the bar on his own, and now he's making his way to the back. Um, still quite early, and she says, um, "I haven't. I followed him all day. He seems to be just doing normal things. Just he likes those axes, though. Keep sharpening them every five minutes." Oh, well, nothing particularly unusual, though. He just got two axes, or has he got lots of axes? He has lots of three he has, at the moment. He, 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 to her, that's lots of axes. So she, <laughs> yeah. she's yeah, that, that, she, he has lots of lots of axes. Um, like what what he's what he's doing? I, I yeah, I, he just seems to be keeping himself to himself. I know you've seen his, you say he's been weird and and you've got some sort of connection, but I'm not seeing it. You know, you you two avoid each other like the plague. Not really. I'm here. Knows exactly where I am. If he wants to come and have a chat, he's more than welcome. But he's not part of the crew, really. 
Oh, is that part of our... Uh... Mm. Oh. Yeah, he's a dude, you know, i got nothing against him, he's a bit odd. She, she nods and says, um, well, if you... You haven't really explained what this connection is between you, so... Maybe you should try and figure that out together. Maybe you need to be the bigger man here. I mean, you are a, the bigger man, obviously. And she, like, looks you up and down. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Um... I don't know, really. It's, it doesn't bother me that much. Hmm. Let's we'll see what happens. We we'll see what happens. There's there's a fight coming. Let's let's go with the fight first. Hmm. And uh, if we all survive, we can sit down and have a chat about it. That's fair enough. But if you two fall into each other's arms in a loving embrace afterwards, yeah, you better include me. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> he just just clinks the glasses. Your glass. <laughs> um, Arden, where are you? And, and are you in the inn, or are you not bothering tonight? Or what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna come into the inn, see the card game going, and walk over to join. Cool, excellent. So, so uh, Flissy gives you a nod, and uh, she just no, you know, she, she actually gives you her seat. She says, "Yeah, you sit there. I want to sit opposite." Oh, thank you. So she plonks oh. herself down opposite Lochnia, and uh, and uh, the you, game's afoot. Guys, uh, so nameless, are you in the tavern or are you outside? Or are you what are you doing? Gonna be on the uh, on the wall looking out towards where the uh, the captain and that force wandered off to. Oh, cool. towards the campfires, yeah, yeah. So it is nighttime now, and as you are on the northern wall, you can actually see um, what you couldn't during the day, and that is the yeah, there are campfires over there. You can hear like the, the sounds of battle, but your your tune senses. And the fact that you're a mercenary who knows these things, you know it's not a battle, that's training. That's people practicing. That's not, that's not real. Um, as you're doing this, a young um, Falkir man runs up to the to the the gate. He runs up to the gate. He doesn't seem that he's that arsed up being seen at all. He doesn't seem bothered. Okay. I'll ask him what he's doing there. Um, roll perception check for me. It's dark, but roll perception check. Michael, can you turn your microphone up? Uh, I'll move it next time. I'll forget. I, I've just turned them up in Discord. To be fair. Uh, All right. There you go. Oh, nice. Now, so you can see. This, you can see this is Bjorn. This is Bjorn. He, he, he's come back, and he's got a. He's like he gets. He's got a grappling hook out, and he goes. Um, do you want me to grab a knock over, or, or are we still opening the gate? Um, given I know him, and it's a high perception roll, I'm assuming there's no one following him? No, there's no one behind him. He's been okay, so like, like let him, like, him. letting him in. Cool. So you go down, and you open the... Are uh, you opening the main gate? You're opening the, the smaller port gate? The smaller, smaller cool. port so, gate. So you let him in, and he, he just he just ducks in and pulls his hood back. And he goes, evening, chief. And I put his, uh, put his, his uh, grappling hook away. Says I got some news. Do you wanna take it to the tavern or do you want me to tell you here? Uh let let's take it to the tavern. Alright, I'll I'll why don't we get some men to watch the walls while we're gone and then we'll go in. Good. So he he walks into the tavern and the game is, is underway in the tavern. Um not gonna I'm gonna give winnings out just yet. Uh, there will be winnings though. Um so a cold wind blows in as the door opens up and uh and, uh, sorry, Nameless and Bjorn step in and uh, they come and join you at the table which is now creaking with the amount of people that are there. There's like seven or eight people on this table. And uh, so there's men all the way around you and you're getting a, a sense of the, the definite mood in Brindle is a lot higher now that they've got people defending them. That, that there's actually, you know, there's a plan in place. Um, people generally drinking, being merry. They know that they will be attacked pretty soon but, you know, now that they've made the decision to fight, you know, that they've actually got some backbone there, they're actually, you know, the, the mood's pretty, pretty happy. Um, Shen does walk in, and she unslings her, her, um, uh, shield and puts it down behind the door and unbuckles her sword and, and just, like, slams it onto the table and sits down with you guys. And, um, she just shrugs and says, uh, 
Lots of arguments. Lots and lots and lots of arguments. And she just shakes her head. She goes, um, just been dealing with some fishwives having to go at each other. Nothing to worry about. Uh, we need to get the families out of here pretty soon, though, because this is getting tense. And they're going to be no use to us if someone attacks Brindle. I mean, we can just sit there in silence if you want. But, uh, <laughs> like, you know, somebody, somebody help throw the dog a bone here and uh, jump in for me. Sorry, I was just dealing with stuff. Cool. When should we start clearing out the families, the women and the children? She shrugs and says, well, as far as I'm concerned, you, you not have run to the town right now. I may be captain of the guard, but I have, what, 30 guards left? 20? You have more men than me, so I guess we're going on what you say. I mean, technically, we still have a mayor, so. Yeah, but yeah, so he's not going to be making yeah, decisions yes. for this town anymore. Hmm. What'd you say, Nameless? I mean, it should be ASA ASAP, right? <clears throat> the, uh, the quicker we send them away, the uh, further they get away from the trouble, just in case we don't stop stop them. Like, we yeah. don't want them catching up with the innocents, do we? So, yeah, we should send them away maybe first thing tomorrow. Mm hmm. So, if we send them away, we should... Up and say, um, that we should send them away under the cover of night just in case. I don't trust... I don't trust that he's going to gesture towards the north. I think we should... Or... Yeah, it was at the north gate, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sorry, all I don't right. trust the, them. Okay, well, I mean, they can spend the uh, the day preparing all their things that they want to take with them, the essentials, and then so, send them away in cover of night, I guess. I'm going to put the, the image of um, Lothane Valley in the Discord chat. And she rolls this out on the table. And generally, you know, so she, she weighs it down with, with her sword and a mug with the other, other part of it. And she says, whereabouts do you want to put them? It needs to be somewhere kind of secure. Yeah, if we're looking for a defensible position, I think it should either be the Bowery or Fletcher's Watch, because those have since been abandoned by the Falkir, right? They've already been raided. How much? That doesn't mean there, there wouldn't be some stragglers. Hmm. Um, well, to, to Nameless's question, the, the Fletcher's Watch is abandoned and partly burnt. It is an open town, though. So, your spidey senses are tingling oh. with that one. You're like, hmm, yeah, not really your kind of deal. Oh. The Bowery is kind of like a keep, right? It is a keep, yeah. Um, actually, looking at the, the map there, it's a lot closer to the water than that. Um, the Bowery is actually protecting the Old North Road. And it is it's defending a choke point where the where the water is, if you know what I mean. Um Yeah, so so Oh from, shoot, but that's north. Um It is north, but that doesn't mean the, the Falkir are north gate, the, the west. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the, the Falkir are everywhere at this point. So um yeah. I mean you, you, you well, in the very first session you fought them in the Grailwood. So it's it's maybe tomorrow. Um, we should send out a small scouting party to see if they can make it safely to the Bowery and Yon puts his hand up and is like there. I'll do it. Awesome. Excellent. Thank you. Volunteered. He just shrugs and orders another rail. Uh so I guess I'll I'll question uh where exactly he was and why he was outside the gates. Um, just, he said, just shrugs and goes, scouting, chief. He, 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 he says, um, from what I could see over there, there's, uh, quite a lot of Falky who joined the ranks of, uh, that Sunborn you saw. Um, I say, yeah, there's about 900, maybe a thousand, maybe a little bit over. So, he's, he's clearly pulled in all of the raiders from the local area around here, so, yeah. It's, 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 there's a, there's a lot there, there's a lot. Well, um, if... uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. 
Oh, she was going to say, well, if we are going to send the women and children to the Bowery, we need to make sure that they don't go past too close to the Falkir, if there are so many of them, mm -hmm. as you say. Shen shrugs and says, um, we've got 250 fighting men, all told. So, maybe we could hold out for a little bit. You know, I, 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 could, I could pull in favors from the local local hands and... I'm gonna warn you. We've only got around sixty actual actual fighting men between our my guards and your men, and the rest of them will be men who can hold a sword, boys. One odd spiker. Um, how close is the actual forest to the to Brindle? Does it come right up to the walls, or no? No, it does not come right up to the walls. It it it's behind you, and it's like a like a like a five minute walk down down to the woods behind you, the Grailwood. Okay, it's it's still fairly close. So fairly close, um, yeah. So Andrew Cleese is going to suggest that as the people leave, that it might be worth having them detour through the forest a bit, and then mm. head north just to kind of keep them out of sight as they start heading north. Once you know, once the way's been scouted. Just so That's that it's not a, a trail of people moving up. Could even because they're still gonna, you know, they're gonna need torches to move at night, or or they're gonna be visible during the day one way or another. So if they're going through the forest at least until they're most of the way to the like right up to the foothills. So what what did what did you say there, nameless? What was it? What do you say? I was gonna say, given Bjorn has been uh, out already scouting and has mm -hmm. a, a vague idea of uh, where the the vast majority of the men are. Mm -hmm. Um. It might be wise to send him with them yeah. to guide them. And I can join them as well, since I know the Grail would. Mm hmm Yeah, okay, that's cool. Cool. And, um, unless, unless you think I'm needed here, and I'll turn to Shannon Nameless. I mean, would we know how imminent the attack is? Um, from, from Bjorn, pipes up. He says, "I'd say they'll be ready in two days, perhaps before then, if if they if they get a move on. But it seems like they're preparing for a concerted push, not a raid. You know, you really did stir up a hornet's nest by giving them a bloody nose. From what I've heard, by you know overhearing, if we look at the map here, they were going to go down the Thane, down the Thane Cross Road and turn down towards Calebridge and go to Lothane that way, but." Uh, I think they're trying to make a point here. You, you, you people are the only ones to actually stand up to them. So, you know. Okay. Well, if uh, they're not going to attack for the next couple of days, and we're doing it tomorrow night, getting them all out, then uh, yeah, then I, I would say sending Arden with them is probably a good idea. Um, Especially because um, that way, if we go, if we stay in a line, we won't need torches because I know that wood really well. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you could also uh, check up on the um, the whereabouts of your invisible mother. <laughs> so, I think I think she's trying not to think about that right now, given um, the current situation. Okay, one definitely. thing at a time. <laughs> kind of a bit of denial. So, I'm just still confused about this whole situation, but he's not going to ask. Um, Lochnia, uh, roll for drunkenness again. Uh, <laughs> it's been another hour, yeah, and you've you've slung back a few. Add a plus ten to it. It's happening. At the point. It is honestly. It will so this is when he rolls his one nat twenty of the session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on. Okay. You're getting you're getting more and more tipsy. You know, you, you're you're you're. You've still got your faculties. You're just thinking, mm, I can definitely see myself falling asleep at this table. It's getting more and more inviting. Just put your head down and have a nice rest. Um, Shen says, I'll go tell the, the fishwives that they're moving tomorrow and who they're moving with. And uh, Bjorn nods and goes, well, since I've got a job to do tomorrow, who fancies a game of cards? Oh. Hey. Cool. Shall we give this shall we give this game a go since I wrote it? <laughs> sure, let's do it. Um cool. One second. Uh, let me just see if I can find a bloody thing. 
There we go. Big stakes. All right, so. I'm just looking at the wrong message. You can have a little, a little go of it. That'll be pretty cool. So, did um, you post it into the page? No, no into, the, into the message. Oh, dang it! It's buried. What I can do is um, put it into the Discord. Stick <laughs> it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, one thing I forgot to mention, uh, cards can only come up twice. There's only two two of any one card in the deck. So, somebody's already got one, then, you know, that's, that is what it is. So, cards marked 1 to 20. Uh, each player draws cards and may lock in their cards anytime. You know, so you can keep them. And uh, those closest to 21 win at the end of the round. So considering uh, going above 21 is considered a bust, this player must double their bet and place it into the regicide pot. If a player wins a round and has a score of 21 of 10, 10 and 1, then they win the regicide pot doubled by the house. So that'll be the tavern. If no winner of the pot is determined, then the pot goes half to the house and half to the player with the least winnings. So, if two players are tied, they play together and around. Uh, bets are made at the start of a, si of a single round. All cards are dealt face up, and each player draws one card at a time as we go around the table. Order of play alternates, which each player return uh, gaining a uh, go to turn first clockwise round table. So, um, we also have a hand of four. So, that's something I forgot to put in there as well. Oh, Wait, how we have four cards each? Yes, and you, and you can lock in a certain certain number of them, you know. So so if you get a really good card, you can lock that in, just to clear that you're doing it, because it's all face up anyway. And then you know, obviously the GM rolls so a D6. We, we take a certain number of cards out the four cards we get. Yes, and those are the ones that count towards our score. Yes, so cool. And then you, do you, we give the extra ones back, and then they deal more, and then you can choose to lock in more. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, but but each when each round finishes, we have you know somebody wins the winning, so it's not like a big, big huge deal. So if, in your initial hand, you can only lock in one of those cards. Yes, like total. So the other three cards are basically irrelevant. At that you point. you and because we're going around in four rounds, so you get one card, and ev we, everyone goes around. You get another card, and you get another card. If you get one that you think is cool that you want to keep, then you lock it in. And if you get another one that you think is cool next time, you go, oh, I'm locking that in as well. That means that if I if I change the, the value of the card, then it, the, these these will stay the same. When you've locked them in, they'll stay the same. They won't, they won't change or anything like that. Because um, I did add something, and that was in the actual rules, if I roll a 1 on that D6, then somebody else gets to change the value of the card. So if I roll... You know what it says GM rules? If I roll a 6, then... The last player to draw may change one of their cards to a value of their choosing, which is really good. But if I roll a one, then somebody else who's randomly allocated at the table will get to uh, change a uh, change a change a card value to stop. Is there from a is there a minimum number of cards we have to have? You know, like in blackjack, you mm. automatically have to have two. You have to have two. Yeah, you have to have okay. two. But you can't so win without. Twenty is not great. Yeah, you you, you can't win without more than one card anyway so you know you need more than one card you can't get a 20. but then what i mean is then it's kind of impossible to bust if you're not forced to keep any of the cards well you are forced to keep them because you can only lock in two at a time yeah but can't you just like can, can, can we just play the, can we just play the game because like you know we're, we're gonna <laughs> be here all night otherwise we, we're gonna be here a while um cool because uh, the, the the only re reason why we work out if these are working or not is if we just play it and see what happens. Um, and if they don't, then I'll just I'm randomly allocate it like last time. So where's where are people sitting at the table right now? I guess I'm next to Lochnir and across from Flissa. Awesome. So and yeah, Androcles is stood near the table. If they, they if they deal because he was listening to the planning, if they deal him in, he'll 
jo he'll join in, but he's not gonna push. Cool. Um, so, you all go here. So I'm gonna drag you onto the table. This is not a fight. Don't worry about it. I'm not like, uh, unless somebody loses and they don't want to lose, then yeah, then it could be a fight. Uh, so, Lochnia. So, so the table is is. Do, 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 do. And Bjorn is sitting up here. Shen's not involved. She's gone to speak to the uh, the other guys. Flissy is there. I'm assuming Lochnia will be here somewhere. Yeah. Oh. I guess I'm right there. If I can, for some reason, recover. Is anyone else on the actual thing? Can you can you draw your? I'm just I'm just drawing now. Okay. I was uh, just selecting colors. It's hard on trackpad. Yeah. No. I've, yeah. We Annoying. Know. Is uh, Andrew Keys getting involved, or is he? If they deal him in, he's he's not gonna like, you know, he's not too keen on it. But if people mm. deal him in, he'll he'll play a hand or two. But he's mostly he was here for the. Mm -hmm. Conversation about the you know, what was going to happen, and then all of a sudden they're playing cards, and just like, oh, all right, guess this is what we're doing. Cool. You know? Again, don't take the rules too seriously. Like this isn't like I'm not going to fucking market this or anything. It's just to make it's just to give us a bit of a you know distraction, like for 10, 15 minutes while while we're planning things out. So everyone's on there. No, three people are on there. Uh, is Lochnir on there? Lochnir needs to be. I think. Which one's me? Yeah, no, you need, you need you to draw to... your guy to oh, where I'm pinging. I do like how Bjorn and uh, Flissy are staying like far apart. Just like, no one watch my fucking card. Yeah. Cool. So luckily, you switch, switch places, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so, who... This is Flissy, so there's Lochnia, there's Bjorn, and this is Androcles. Yeah, on the end. And this is Nameless, is it not? Yes. And this is Arden. Cool. So we're going with Flissy first. So she just draws a card. She draws a six. So, keeps that. Locking it. Right, okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm just eating at the minute, so that's why, yeah. Yeah, just roll d20 and uh, see what you get. <coughs> this thing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. A tough ball of nachos. Right. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So rolling. Is this slow for anybody else? Is it just me? It literally takes twenty seconds. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to be that guy, but it does seem like it's just you. <laughs> um, yeah. Unfortunately. Decent. Okay. So I guess I'm rolling for six again. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cool. Andrew, please. You can't roll the six. Okay. If you roll the six, you have to re roll because there aren't any sixes left. Oops. Sorry. Four's. I in 10. That's one. All right. Yeah. Really hammering. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh that's wow. Not great. That's great. Because you, if you, if you can, no, oh, no, you need to do two cars, don't you? Yeah, you could go bust. Cool. I have to get a one. Uh, yeah. So, well, this is only practice round anyway. So, there's no no money on this. You just just this a friendly one for the first round. So, and now going up to nameless. You you literally you, you see Andrew like pick the card up and he's got like a sour look on his face, like he just smelt really a shitty smell in the air, and then slams the card down. Like, why am I playing anyway? Why am I playing this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, Arden. It is now Arden's turn. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ooh. Cool. So, this will go again. After this card, you can elect to not have any more cards. You can lock in your cards if you wish. Oh, Jesus. She's bust. Okay, so 
Um, she would pay in all of her money if she had any, but she doesn't. Because this is a friendly round, so she's out the game. Lockney is next. Mm. Uh, what did you roll last time? 12. Oh shit, yeah, you're well bust. That's it. Yeah, you're, you're gone. So who's, who's next? Oh yeah, it is. You're next. Uh, he is on 20. He's sitting pretty on 20, and he says, I'm a lot of that in. That's it, I'm done. I'm not doing any more. Andrew Cleese next. Ooh, uh, what did you get last time? Oh shit, yeah, yeah and, <laughs> Andrew Cleese is fucked. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, nothing left. Who's next? Nameless. I am also bust. Also bust. See how it goes. Yeah, cool. I didn't. I'm bust. Yeah, cool. So uh, Bjorn wins. Would win the money this time round. So Bjorn's like getting pretty confident. He goes, uh, "Well, do you want to start with me then? We'll go clockwise that way. I'm gonna slam down." He goes, "I'm gonna slam down 200." There you go. 200 copper pieces. I'm feeling, feeling confident. I'll do that. I'll see that bet. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna sit this one out. It's a little too much for me. It was uh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, you don't need to. This is the thing. You don't need to. You don't need to see everyone. You can just put in what you feel is, you know, oh. what you've got. Yeah. It, it's a friendly game. It's not. So it means that you know a king can play against a, a peasant, and you can still play the game. It's not like you know you can't outbid you. Uh, I'll throw in fifty. Mm -hmm. Cool. Plays in match the fifty, I guess. Cool. So that is. So you do the maths. I'm going, I'm going in for two hundred. Two, four. It's five hundred altogether. So lock near what you're throwing in. Oh. Oh, hold on, I'm on mute. Oh, there we go. What was that? What did you say? Five hundred so far. So, so everyone's put in um, all together. We've got five hundred in so far for the betting. What would you like to put in? Yeah, I'm putting in two hundred. Two hundred. Seven hundred. And Flissy will go with another 200. So that's 900. 900 gold up for grabs. So uh, Bjorn's going to draw first. That's going to go very poorly for him. I can just sense it. Oh no, that's decent. That's decent. He's, he's pretty happy with that. Yeah, cool. Uh, Andrew Key's next. Ah, very decent. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Nameless. Another good one. Jesus Christ. Okay. Arden now. Obviously, natural 20. I know, cool. This will be the only time Alana rolls really well, is when she's winning money from everybody. <laughs> because Alana does not lose board games. Um, so. Oh, that, that's the second eight, yeah? Yeah. So Arden had to re roll. Oh, no, 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 no. There's two, no, there's two, there's two of every card. There's two of every card. Yeah. Oh, two of every card. Um, Sorry, I misheard. You, you, you hear Flissy, like, just swear under her breath. Like, <laughs> Slams down the 20. Andrew Cleese is going to give her a knowing look because he was literally just there. <laughs> so, um, Locknear. Roll for your card. First card. Amongst yourself. <coughs> As we wait. You might want to get Jay to do your rolling for you, man. I, I bet you it's much quicker. No, it's literally pressing the key. Just rolling does it. <laughs> You rolls oh. like shit. Um, then again, if you get a two, you're 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 in, your quids in. Um, so the other card. Uh, we're going with Bjorn now, and Bjorn rolled a two, didn't he? Yeah, he rolled a two, so he's quite happy. So come on, uh, fourteen. Um, I'm gonna lock them in, and uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm gonna go for it next round as well. We'll see. So Andrew you're next. 14 for Bjorn. Oh! What does that put me at? That puts me at 5 total. 5 so. total? Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Um, nameless. Puts me on 19. I'll lock that. Okay. So 19 for Nameless. Ah. Oh, I think Fif I just bust. 15 yeah. and. Yep. Yeah, unfortunately, Eight. you lose your money. 23. Um, that. Uh, your money, your bet, goes into the big pot. So, uh, 50 goes into the big pot. Uh, and now we're on to Flissy. Um, she just, like, picks up a card, like, flip, um, petulantly. And just, yeah, I'm out. And then just, like, sits down, like, really annoyed. 
said, this game sucks. Who wrote this? <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's uh, Locknear next. What do you want to do, Locknear? Oh, go. shit. Locknear is fucked. Um, so uh, Yawn is being brave. Seven. Fourteen. Seven. Twenty-two. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Um, no, it's not. It was. No, 20, 21. 21. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, sorry, history, not maths. Um, so he's like, he just like rubs his hands together. He's like, nah, and locks it in. He's like, yeah, that'll do me. That'll do me. Um, nameless. I don't really have a rule whether you need to stay out or not. So you can come back in if you want. Um, so Andrew, please, you're next. That puts me at thirteen total. Cool. Are you locking those in, or are you going to discard one? I mean, I, you know, uh, let's see. He'll get rid of the the one, cool. so that'll put him at what four and eight. That's twelve. Cool, awesome, cool, and uh, nameless. Actually, no. There was already two eights, weren't there? Yep, you got to roll that. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Three. Okay, so uh, what did he get? A one, a four, and now a three. So he'll take the four and the three and keep seven total. Cool. Um, nameless, you can discard a card if you wish. No. Uh -huh. Pointless me uh, sticking on 19 because he's got 21, right? Yeah. So... She's got a. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, did, so did you get rid of a card last time? No, this time. I didn't. Uh, so what did I get? So I was on 19, I got 8 the first time, 11, so if I keep the... Ugh. So if I keep the 1 and the... 11. You can discard the 1 if you want, but... 1 and 11 is 12, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, so if I keep those and discard the other one, so I'm on 12 and then next time... Yeah, you're looking maybe. for a 9, that'll that'll be yeah. a sweet, sweet spot. Cool. Um... Now we're on to... It's really just me and Nameless now, isn't it? Lissy's out. Uh, out. Lockney is out. Bjorn's there. Bjorn's... Well, Bjorn's he's on 21, pretty. so he's sitting pretty, yeah. Still. So it's just Androcles and Nameless now. Okay, so I'm at four and three, so I'm at seven. Mm-hmm. Oh. Uh... Uh... Oh, well. Uh, nameless. Damn. Damn, well. double damn. So Bjorn well. takes all of your money. <laughs> what a little scumbag. <laughs> he's like, 900, I'll take that, I'll take that. And he picks it up and he's like, he's got this big sack of big sack of uh, coin, uh, copper bits. He's like, oh, I knew you were good for us when you guys turned up. This is brilliant. Right, there he goes. I think I'll just him and tell him to take the next three watches. He's like, oh, he's he just like, I don't one likes pulling rank. And uh, at, at this point, Flissy goes, I'm going to the bar, I've had enough, lose my money, and she like wanders off. So Bjorn's like, and another round? You don't want to try and win the money back? Or Uh no, you're good, thanks. And this is just gonna wave him off and and step away from the table. Cool. Anyone? Two two hundred was a bit steep for me. <laughs> He's gonna move over to the the centre here. Uh we could go down to a hundred, maybe. Tell you what, he's getting a bit big for his boot. He goes, tell you what, I'll put in 250 if you put in 100. Oh, fuck it, why not? Do I'll about, go for it. How about you? Okay, cool. So you're putting in 100. So, here we go. Lose this, I might bash a skull in. <laughs> um, it's nameless <laughs> first this time. That cool. Works. There is... Um, there is nearly a just get that twenty next time. There's nine. Good. There's nine hundred in the regicide pot. So if somebody gets a ten, a ten, and a one, they'll win that. If if after this game no one's got it, then it goes to the person with the lowest winnings. So that's why he's trying to stump up a load of money. Um, so uh, that'll be Arden next. What was that? Three. Really? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You might be in trouble here. Oh no, no, that's very, very, very good. Okay, cool. Nameless. You got one, so you can pretty much get whatever you want. Two. Okay, it's three. Um, if he was ten times that. He would have been. Is, is there anything like a five-card trick in this? No. 
It's four <laughs> cards. Four cards. Is that Arden now? Uh, you're on oh. 19. Okay. If I lock it in now, I can still trade out cards later, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, but it, I'll it, lock it, that in for now. It, it just means I, I've, I've been rolling fours and fives this entire time, so I've not been rolling to change any cards. Nine and seven. Okay, cool. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, you at seventeen, but you got to drop one, right? Seventeen. Oh no, yeah. he doesn't have to. He doesn't, doesn't have, to. have to drop one, does it? No, doesn't have to. Arden, what are you rolling next? If what? I go over, though, I can drop one of those cards, right? No, not after you've okay. gone over. Uh, I'm gonna hold at nineteen. Okay, you're locked in. Um, I know 16. Uh, what does Nameless have? 17? See, another one. Yeah. Mm. I think, by the way, I would have dropped the two. Mm. So that way I'm on 15. Makes it more likely. I'm going to yeah. go for it. He's going to go for it. He, he like he holds, he holds his eyes shut. He's like, yeah, as he goes to draw the card. Nope. Uh, so he, like, just... Sam's his cards down and goes, well, guess my luck can't hold all night. Down to you two. I need a five or a six, please. Ugh. Well. <laughs> if you hadn't dropped the the first two, you would have been at nine, t tied at 19. Would have been. Uh, Arden's um, locked in, so keep drawing or, or discarding. So well, you can discard will... his uh, 14 oh, yeah, and can discard start the 14. Yeah, yeah, you can so do, I'm yeah. On, I'm on three again. And then you're and you're 14. Uh, so now I'm going to drop the 2, so I'm at 12. Mm -hmm. 16. So now I'm going to drop <laughs> the 11, so I'm at oh. 6. Cool, cool. God damn it! <laughs> it was so close. It was so close. <laughs> so Arden gets uh, 500 gold. Who has the least winnings, though? Are we finishing here? Do you guys want to finish here? Because Bjorn's yeah, desperate to play another one because he doesn't want anyone else to get the 900. I, I'm the lowest. Like, I've lost both games, right? Yes. So, you, yeah. you are yeah, the lowest yeah, right I now. Matched, I matched his. So, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, God I'll damn it. It's like, 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 he said these rules. He says these rules are like bullshit. Like, why, why does he get to? <laughs> and, and, he, and he just storms off to the bar. And he goes, can you believe that? I won a game, and he's got more winnings than I do. And you're, you're just like standing up on the table with a big sack of 900. I'm just like... I made myself 600 gold in that. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, for next time, the rules will be a lot more... Um... Well, we've had a couple of rounds now, so we know what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. So, mm. um, so the evening comes to a close, and everyone is... is in bed, and then the next morning comes around. So, are you guys going um, under cover of darkness? You're going to the actual. Uh, so we were going to send Bjorn out first, weren't we? Yeah, uh, he's already gone. Yeah, and then uh, yeah. Cool. So, is there anything you guys would like to do money-wise, or you know, um, getting stuff for the, for the road or anything like that? Anything you'd like to do? Yeah, you know, I've got a few water skins and I've got my karma oils and whetstone, so cool. Androcles is just doing pretty, pretty good. Set. So, um, uh, Shen does come over to you, Nameless and and Androcles, and says, um, um, a lot of the men are a bit listless at the moment after last night's frivolities. Do you mind giving them the, you know, a bit of training in the town square, maybe, for a little while? And I'll get the fishwives and the, all of the all of the townsfolk who can't fight ready to go. No problem. So that, I'm, I'm going to shrug and follow nameless along. Um, Lockney, are yeah. you are you training with people or are you just um, staying in bed for the foreseeable? Just staying in bed. Yeah, he's training a different kind of swordplay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Arden, so sorry, go on, Lockney, sorry. My energy. He's Ahead. Fair enough. Yeah. No, so, I'll, you know, I'll make sure I've got enough days for mm -hmm. a few days trek and all that sort of stuff. But other than that, 
You you haven't had um, Androcles and Lochnia. Um, Androcles, did you sleep last night or did you not sleep? Uh, he would have. Um, I mean, he would have slept fitfully. He's you know not really okay. enjoy, getting enjoying much of the sleep he's gotten since this whole situation started. Mm -hmm. He's made some mistakes enjoying this whole mess. So, both of you have had um, sweet dreams past couple of days. Uh, but last night you did. You, it wasn't quite as bad as what it has been, but you did definitely feel a a. You know those nightmares you wake up from, but you can't really remember what happened. You you've done yeah. that, but you you you're sure you're being watched in your dreams by a presence with lot rather large, uh, baleful red eyes, which you know, not a great feeling. But that was just last night, not any other night. Um, Arden, what are you up to? Did you say Arden? Yep. Um, she'd be walking around helping people, um, pack up, or if anyone wanted to board up their windows in preparation just to be safe, she'd just be helping out around the town. Cool. So, I'm gonna add some things for your training. Um, Nameless and Androcles, roll a leadership check. So, Androcles is the first leadership check you get to do, so you roll attractiveness and might together. So, d20 plus the two bonuses. So, might then. <laughs> uh, yes, so might, yeah. To see how well the training goes. Nice. A nameless rolls. Antipodes is working out some issues right now. Yeah, get in. Always one upping. Yeah. <laughs> cool. oh, <laughs> so. And. Sorry, go on. Oh, I was going to say at some point Arden would walk over to the training and see if she could practice sparring with any of the men. Cool. Um, uh, Rhea it says, just nods and says, I can you know, go over a few things with you if you want. Oh, great. Then um, I'll, Arden will get out her dagger because okay. he'll be doing like sword and dagger. Okay. Let me roll to see how well this goes. I'm going to give you a plus six for this. Twelve. Um, that, yeah, that means you get to roll. So, so give it a d20. Arden, roll a d20. Nice. So, um, yeah, it's going pretty well. Going pretty well. You don't quite get another point in, in daggers, but it's going pretty well. You're learning a few tricks, and you're getting used to the weight of it in your hand as well. Um, she does say, though, she says, you know that's an ornamental piece, right? That's not actually a dagger. No, I bought a steel dagger. That's what I'm using. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, and, uh, I got rid of the jewel thing. Oh, okay. Fair right. enough. Um, so Bjorn is gone for the day, um, uh, but he does return later on in the day and he, uh, climbs over the wall this time. So he doesn't even walk through and he, and he says, uh, as you, as a little man of training, he says, he shrugs and says, coast is clear as far as I can see. I say when the sun goes down, you make your move. Competent is he just so we know. Um, he's, he's he's not really giving any reason to doubt a skill at the moment. Um, still alive. He's still alive, yeah. And and he and he must have scouted quite close to the Falkir last night to get his uh, you know, his his range on them. So. Okay. Well, I guess that's uh, that's the go for tonight then. Uh, just in Fernandez's experience, does it seem suspicious that the Falkir are like? You know that are giving us this much time and kind of giving us this much room to work that we can actually get these people out of town. Does Do that seem a a perception <laughs> check for me. Okay, one second. Seventeen. Um, you have not got the foggiest. Um, you, yeah. as, as you're thinking that a, a a nice bird takes your view and you oh that's nice and then you you forget what you were thinking about. <laughs> so, the evening comes on. Who is going with the scout? Who's going with the the fishwives and things? Shen's going. Bjorn's going. Um, I'm, I'm going. Arden's going. Arden's going. Is anyone else going? I mean, I imagine that since the wall, you know, we'll be able to get back to the walls. So at least we'd like to see them most of the way to this keep. Mm -hmm. You know, just because Andrew please doesn't trust the. Uh, the fuck here to it, not. If you get into the woods, on civilians. if you get into the woods, you know you're going to be getting too far away to get back to the to get back to the town very quickly. It's going to take you, you know, 45 minutes. 
So it's either you probably make the decision to take them all the way there, that way, or you don't. Basically, that, that that's what I'm saying. It's it's going to be a bit finding a way back is going to be an issue. From what you, <coughs> you you don't know the land, Arden does, and she's going to the keep. She's not she's not going halfway. All right. Um, is Bjorn coming back out? He's going, yeah. Yeah, Bjorn is leaving it. <clears throat> All right. Uh, he would well, he would see what uh, Nameless uh, thinks on this situation. Mm -hmm. Whether we should send more men out with them just to be safer. Anything I'd be concerned about is if uh, an attack occurs or like a, a scouting raiding party or anything like that. So I think I would stay behind personally. Cool. Um, so uh, is the decision been made? Is, is it is it Arden going with the? Yes, Arden. Arden's going because she can <coughs> find distance. she can find the fastest way. Lockney was going to say something there. So what was that? Yeah, I, I was just going to agree that you want to attack here. We need as much. We don't know when they're going to attack. We don't want to send any more than we have to. Mm -hmm. Just back out, otherwise it'll leave the, the town undefended, and that's <coughs> excellent. Cool. So, Arden, you leave by the west gate here, the east gate. Sorry, facing up the road. Mm -hmm. Actually, I got it wrong way around, didn't I? The actual this is the looking at it. This would be the west gate. This is the east gate. You're going on the north gate, which is here. You're going up north. No, no, no. That is that is the east gate because there's a compass at the top of the. Page. Yeah, but forget about that because that, that, that's not where the the, the town because is. Because of where the roads are set. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So there's there. Yeah, there wasn't a south. There was a northeast and west yeah, yeah. On the map. So, cool. So you're heading out the town. It's it's uneventful. Okay. So so Bjorn's making small talk, and you're definitely getting the, the sense that. He's not been around women that much, and he's trying to flirt as best he can, but it's not going very well. So he's just like, you know, so, um, nice trees around here, you know, that uh, sort of well, thing, and he's, you know. Arden is, um, just as awkward at that, because she's she was raised mainly just, like, by her dad. So she'd be like, uh, yeah, yeah, we got, uh, some nice elms around here, uh, pretty, pretty nice forest. <laughs> He says, he says, he says, wow, wow. He says, wow, you, you, you know a lot about trees. You know, it's not mainly just the ones around here. Yeah. Um, so it's bereft of Falkir. You don't see any Falkir. And as you go down towards the road, um, the sun's shining, and things are, you know, things are, things are pretty good. You know, uh, you know, the families are all in front of you. Shen's it right at the front, and eventually. You come across a keep nestled against the water, um, which looks like this. So, again, as you can see, it's a lot closer to the water than it is on the map, but maps aren't always totally correct. Um, so, that, so you've got a, a bridge that is broken here, going over the water to the other side. Um, and this is exactly as you see it as well. It's one of the only pictures I've found where I've been like, yes, that's exactly what it looks like. So... You're walking from this direction on the on the on the map on the uh, picture across here. There's a road here going up towards the keep. The keep is crumbling, but I, but you can see it. It's very very sturdy. It's very 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 sturdy, and there are lots and lots and lots of crows perched around and flittering around and doing their thing, and as as well as a few gulls who are up here. But this this is a very fast flowing part of the river. So it's it's not somewhere where you'd want to cross, which is why the bridge is there. So are you guys heading inside? Are you gonna? Um, I'll go ahead because the crows just would make me a little nervous given the ravens, and from far away, you know, it's hard to tell the difference between a raven and a crow. So mm -hmm. I I'd, I'd try to scout ahead and see if I can get a sense if there's anyone in the keep. Cool. Any uh, here. Roll a so so you, you you run up to the to the bridge. Um, because these are sheer walls, so there's no real way you can. You could try and climb in if you want. Um, that's not a problem. If you'd like to try and do that. Uh -huh. If I can do it, then yeah, I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be very challenging, but you think you can do it if you roll pretty well. Sure, I'll try. Cool. 
Um, roll a perception for handholds, please. Looking for handholds. Okay. Boom. Excellent. And now you're looking for might to haul yourself up. Oh, that's just... Uh, okay, so this isn't gonna work. Like, 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 like. You can see the handholds, but you, but you can't really hold your own weight up there. So, let. The only other way is round the front of the keep, around the front of it. Um, can I sneak? Sure, go for it. Um, you can certainly try. You roll a guile check for me. Broad daylight, so no pluses. Uh, oh, sorry. Cool. No, no, pluses. no, no, so no extra pluses. Thing. You wouldn't get any extra pluses. Oh. Um, so yeah, you get all the way up to the to the um, the bridge, and you, you, it's going to take a running jump to get you across the bridge. Is that speed or? That is speed. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm going to let you re-roll that. Um. <laughs> okay. So so you do a running jump. And you go slamming into the other side of the bridge. And you just, and you just roll a perception roll to try and grab onto something before you fall into the water. Okay, so you grab onto something. You grab onto like a root in the, that's been buried in the stonework. And begin hauling yourself up. And you're panting. And you hear um, you hear Bjorn on the other side of the of the bridge saying, Don't worry, no one saw. They're not here yet. <laughs> Arden's just cursing under her breath. Okay. So as you stand up and pat yourself down, you can see that the gates to the keep are wide open, and but you but you you can see you can sense no one around, like absolutely no one. Okay, in that case, then I'll I'll wave to Bjorn that it's clear. Cool. So you guys walk into the first floor, and the second floor, unfortunately, um, as you make your way through the actual keep. A lot of the stairs are all blocked, and the first floor seems to have collapsed, actually. So it's not even, even you're not even capable of getting up there. Um, but it seems pretty defensible, you know. There's water coming around here. There's, you know, you, you, you know, it seems like they'll be safe here for a bit, as long as you know, um, they stay inside the keep. There's two halves of the keep. There's this half and this half, and this is the lowest floor. From what you can see. There are about four to five floors going upwards. So it's rather large. It's very, 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 very large. Um, I guess we should find a place in the middle. Like maybe if you go back to that other map. Mm -hmm. The other half. Do, do you have that the second half of the map? There we go. Like, in here, because that looks like there are walls all around it. So maybe mm -hmm. we have the women and children hold up in there and then leave some guards with them, too. Or like, a few outside to keep in. Cool. Some, like, here. Yeah. No problem. And you're going to leave them there. Bjorn says, um, uh, Shen, are you all right staying here? And, and, and Shen just nods and says, you two have a romantic trip back through the woods. I'll stay here. Don't worry. And he just nods and goes to walk out. Arden follows. Cool. So you guys get back to the town. Uh, it's near nightfall, and you can hear drums in the in the in the wilderness as you get back towards the town. And we're going to take a quick five minute break, and we're going to be back after that to see what goes on. Cool. I'm going to get some tea. I will be right back. Same here. That's good.
I'm back. Back and back. Hello. Hello. Mm. I am. Ah. I'm back. Cool. Whenever. Hello. Whenever. Uh, Andrew Cleese is back, we'll get going. Do, do, do. Hello. Hello. Right, and then now, um, my. So, ready to go? Yeah. And so. We are Lochnia. So, we are in town right now, and this is happening just as, um, just as Arden and Bjorn are getting back towards the town. So, not going to pull punches here. Uh, you said you wanted to be <laughs> faffed. Um, uh, <laughs> so, Fl 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 is on, Fl is on top, giving it the bifters, right? She's... Away she goes. Giving it uh, the bift. Yes, yes. And <laughs> any of those words mean, so we're going to move on from that. And <laughs> lock, lock, I'd like you to roll a reception roll for me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, during, during the act, um, you let out the biggest. Wettest fart that you oh. that that you've you you've done for. Her. She stops and goes, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and she just says, no, 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 no. Let's just, you know, she she just she goes, uh, can you smell something? And and you and you think it's that. She says, no, 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 not that. Roll perception check again. Okay, yeah, you can smell smoke. Right, okay. Um, dive out of bed and have a look out the window. Okay, so um, there's nothing going on out, out the window. You see people walking around, doing their thing. Um, so you see a few townspeople milling about. All of them are men at this point, so there are, you know, you see all the women and children are, are ferreted away. Um, and you can, you can, you can hear drums, um, war drums. So you're, you're thinking like the time is near now, where you, you'd be going, you know, you. you, you you're up for it. You're ready to go. But as you... It's like one of those times where you try to work out where the smell is coming from. You don't smell it out here. It's just fresh air out here. So it's coming from inside the pub? Yes. Right. <coughs> you shit, love. Pub's on fire. She says, what? Isn't that outside? Nope. Don't think so. Well, the charcoal burn is only two doors down. And she gets out of bed and like starts throwing on armour. I'll uh, peg it downstairs and have a look. Cool. Um, roll a perception roll for me with a minus six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. You're not wearing any clothes, so so you you've gone racing out of the you 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 grabbed your sword because the most important thing is the you know, and you grab that and you you go walking out and she goes wait wait you? and the door closes. Uh, which way? You, you're in the corridor. Which way are you going? To, so to the left is down towards the bar area. To the right is to the wards of the rooms. There's more rooms. Um, rooms. Rooms, okay. So what are you doing when you're... Cause you're, in a, you're in a long corridor... Well, not a long corridor, but well, a 20-foot corridor with several doors on either side. Um, I'll sort of head down, trying to smell if the smoke's coming, you know. Yeah, you, you, do, you, get, you do get to room number six. And mm. you you are smelling a lot of smoke, yeah. And as you as you put your hand to the door, it's quite warm. I guess the mayor was in room six. Uh, you don't know the where he wise. is because um, you you I don't think you you looked already. Knocking, you didn't really care. He was like, yeah, whatever. He's 
but um, you can guess. Sorry. Um, I'll kick the door down then. Cool. Uh, do a, a mic check, please. That's a lot. This is a repeatable one because you're not under any time constraints, really. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, you you severely bruise your foot as you as you limp backwards. Um, take two superficial points of damage, and mm. uh, Flitty comes up next to you and says, oh, "For God's sake, put some armor on, man!" And it kicks in the door straight away, and it just <laughs> the, the and, and the wash of heat that comes out is just yeah, it it, it it's it's an inferno in there. And she looks at she holds her her hand up to her face and looks in and goes, "Can't see the mayor." Uh, um, sound the alarm, really. Shout as loud as we can that the pub's on fire. She, she goes running into the bar and uh, people start clearing out. And as um, we all join the action as um, a the barkeep is ringing the bell inside and just outside to get people out and to alert people that there's a fire. And uh, Bjorn and Arden are just clearing the wall, the ramparts on the on the other side, so on the northern on the northern side. And um, Androcles and Nameless are obviously on the walls up here. And you guys, Bjorn and Arden, are down here. And, you, and you're getting the bell that's coming from down here and there's smoke rising from this building. Who wants to act first? Um, yeah, we would have seen this from the wall pretty clearly, mm -hmm. so I... I assume uh, I would grab a handful of men and uh, and make my way down there. Cool. How many are you grabbing from the wall? Uh, let's go with... I think five is probably enough. Cool. So you head down um, down the main street, and you actually find that, uh, yeah, the, the, the back of the... Now, by this stage, the back of the inn is now on fire. It's not full on fire. And the, the innkeeper is outside, and he's just shaking his head, looking at it like... There's nothing you can do now, you know. It, it's pretty much this is where we are. This is this is happening. So he he just looks aghast at it. Is it could, like will it set fire to nearby buildings or? Um, it, it, if it gets big enough, it could do. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, well, I'll instruct uh, the men to put out the fire as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 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 they they run to the well, which is in the center of town here, and they start to get buckets and, and start to head on inside. Um. Lockney, are you going back to your room to get dressed, or are you because because we're at times of the essence now? Um, I'll, I'll go back to get my gear. Yes, all up. I don't have much. Cool. So you, mm. so, so you get your clothing and your you know and little bits bag. and bobs. And yeah, the yeah. bag. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Him as everything's burning, he's just kind of like, "Do I really need this tunic, or can I leave it?" <laughs> <laughs> Does blue go with smoke? You've got to protect the goods. <laughs> so, um, as as you are, Lockney, I'd like you to roll a few speed rolls for me. So, as you're walking through the center of the bar, there are timbers falling down above you, and yeah, it's it, it, it's pretty gnarly in there. Yeah, that'll, that'll allow you a re-roll for that. There you go. There so, you go. so, so, so you, you go you go diving through. Um, Fliss, Flissy's in front of you. You go diving through the through the fire and smoke into the night air and it's absurdly cold out here and and you're standing there you know obviously naked again and um yeah and, and, and you see nameless standing there with his with his arms folded in the center there of the no children around it's anymore. like the first timber falls directly behind him and he's like oh right and then runs out <laughs> yeah yeah also i won't look back at the pub as i'm walking out because heroes don't look at explosions cool <laughs> <laughs> You just Here's walk out. To wear clothing, but you know, second home gone. So Lockney just walks out, like, well, it, it, it's it's almost like he's leaving the stables after after leaving his horse. You know, he's like on with the day, <laughs> sort of sort of a look. Um, yeah, and then I get dressed. <laughs> yeah, so, right. so you start hopping around, pulling on boots. Yeah, that. cold. Boots first, trousers second. Yep. Um. <laughs> so this one hurt his feet. So, um, Flissy just, just, just looks down at you and is like, just pants first. <laughs> and she just shakes her head and, and says the name. She says, uh, the, bar, the tavern's on fire, by the way. 
<laughs> yeah, I gathered. Ah. So, uh, I guess we're under attack. Androcles, went, as soon as he saw the fire, would kind of start looking out for the, to the walls, because he had assumed that this was a distraction. Um, yeah. Arden and Bjorn come around this corner, and you, and you guys take in all of the scene now. I'd rush over and be like, um, <laughs> is the fire more under control by now? No, it's it's a blazing inferno. Okay, um, then I'd be running either to the well, or is there any like sand or just dirt, like something immediately next to the tavern that we could throw on to damp the fire, or like pushing um anything flammable away from the building so that it can't spread, like creating um, a dead zone. That's the well coming in, right? So the well's here. Wait. Yeah. They the two of them it would have come past the well coming in, right? Yeah. So they came from. Here. So, um, there's no real sand or anything like that around here because you know, they um, weren't planning I'd on being on fire. I'd start creating like a dead zone um, where you, because like being in a forest, cool. uh, fire's always a risk, and you know, and she would know that if Good you just idea. Clear, yeah. clear anything flammable away, then the fire can't spread. Good idea. And she'd be shouting at anyone else to help. So Bjorn nods and says, right, I'll get on that. And he, and he, he runs to this house, and there's no one living in it. He just starts getting men to just dismantle it and pull it down and throw it into the fire here. Just throw it in. Just just, just get it gone so there's like a nice clear area. And more men run, rush to this one as well, and they start doing that as well. Just, just trying to get, you know. And, and the innkeeper's was like, you're trying to make it bigger? And, 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 like, and Bjorn's like, no, we're just clearing a space so it can burn itself out. Um... That's a good idea. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a roll for that. See if we can save the the tavern. Oh dear. Um, sorry. Uh, so uh, the, the the tavern is unsavable. I'm afraid it it goes up in smoke. And as uh, everyone, roll a perception check for me. Nice. Oh dear. That's nice. Nameless is entranced by the fire. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really gonna, you know, he, your eyes are singed. Anything like that. It's, it's, it's a beautiful fire. It's, it's shiny and, and things are happening. And um, <laughs> and Androcles, you spot someone dive out of this little alleyway here as the, as the, as everyone's preoccupied and starts running towards the gate. Oh, I'm totally gonna take him. Cool. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking um. It, I'm, I'm going to chase him down and probably sweep his legs with the back of the axe so that mm -hmm. they, he drops. Mm -hmm. So I don't kill him immediately. If it turns out to be the mayor, it won't be the back of the axe for long. Okay, so um, I'm not going to make you roll to catch up to him because that was such a good roll. Uh, but do an attack to, to get him on the floor and then another attack to finish him if you want to. I'll tell you. Is it the mayor? Well, roll the attack first. Uh, okay, so... Um, so you sweep the back of his legs, and he goes tumbling back down to the floor. It is the mayor, and his his hood just comes off. I will, uh, you know, I don't need him talking anymore. So uh, yeah, it's time. It's time for the axes just to end this. You, you don't need to roll for that. It's a coup de grace shot. He's on the ground, unarmed. So you just bury what? your axe in his head. Is that what you're going to do? You're just going to? Oh, I'm. I'm a... Can I decapitate him? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I'm assuming we would have seen this, right? Yeah, yeah, you've all seen that, yeah. Like, is there any way we could do a speed check to stop this from occurring? Um, If you didn't roll a 1 to see him actually run away, yes. Um, okay. but, but so like, what about the other two? So if, if the other two wish to, they can. Then they can try to. Uh, it's going to have to be a bloody good roll after their rolls, though, because they roll poorly as well. Yeah. yeah. I think even if Arden saw it, she wouldn't care at this point because she's like he betrayed everyone. So, and he set fire to the tavern. Lockner's home. We not want to know who Agnar is. I was waiting for that to come back up. <laughs> <laughs> no one's mentioned it since. But uh, Agnar doesn't want anyone to know who Agnar is. So you know, head is off. And um, head is off. Are you gonna do anything with the head? I think it's it's you know it's getting about past time for a snack, so uh, he's actually going to take a bit of um... in front of everyone. 
well, it's you know, it's dark. The fire's behind him. He's gonna just take the head and and uh, start wa- heading back towards the wall and just kind of surreptitiously have a bite while he's walking away. Nothing subtle like a finger, just an entire freaking head. Okay, well, he's um... gonna eat the whole. Head. He's gonna he's gonna like scoop out a bit of brain matter. Okay, so uh, as you're walking to the, it's like it's like you've got uh, like a like a a bucket of popcorn, you know. So as you're walking towards the wall, you're just like you know having a little snack. And you're getting a sense of memories from this man of of uh, being brought up in Falkir lands and then coming to coming to make your fortune in Albion and it not going very well and 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 your 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 family taken from you and eventually murdered by raiders and the Ashen Crows actually kill those raiders because the Ashen Crows don't like anyone muscling in on their turf and because they kill the people who killed your family you swear to serve them and you become one of their agents in the north of Albion. And they pay you well. And they've actually ba- they actually bankroll the town that springs up around the inn that you make. And, you know, it, it's called Brindle, after your wife. So, yeah, it, it, you've had, having a really decent life until those darn kids showed up. And then from there on in, everything goes, everything goes poorly. Um, but unfortunately, as you're thinking this, walking toward the eight, there are, you... you you eventually hear shocked gasps and like, you know, people crying and yeah, there's it, it, a few men who are looking at you like with their arm, with their with their with their jaws wide open. You realize you just walked through a press of people eating this brain, just eating this guy's brain from his head. He's gonna, um, he's gonna. At this point, he's assuming that the attack is pretty much imminent. Mm-hmm. So he's going to just um, kind of step past them, chuck the head to the side and says, They're ki- uh, and just kind of turn towards the men and say, and, uh, the, fal- the Falkir are coming. And then he's going to you know, just climb up the wall and get his axes ready. And, and you hear one of the men go, say to one of the others, we don't all have to do that, do we? Is that a thing? <laughs> 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 So um, I assume everyone else in the party knows that Androcles and, Lo- and Nameless do this. That they're, not, they're not shocked. Yeah. About what's going on. Yeah. Um, so the attack is imminent now on the town. So what are you guys looking to do? What are you guys looking to do right now? I imagine we've pretty much you know, got the men set and reinforced the gates as much as possible, yeah? Mm-hmm. Try to be um, maybe up along... Or- are these like ramparts that you can walk across? Um, those are ramparts that you can walk across. Yeah, they're not very high, but yeah, they are. But still, like, um, probably position ourselves around the top, or at least Arne would, to a so good mm-hmm. vantage point. They're coming from the what on the map is the north, but was actually the west. So they're mostly. I mean, that's where they came initially. Whether that's where that's they're going to come from, you know, mm-hmm. in general, we don't know, but. This is where Androcles is going to station himself, just to take on the brunt. So, as you are actually um, outside, a rainstorm has started, okay? And if that sound hasn't come on of roll 20, then here is a nice mix for you to listen to. Very nice, very relaxing. Uh, it won't be relaxing for long, obviously, but... Uh, so, um, on the rampart, you can actually see in front of the town the thousand Falkir are there in a huge wave and a huge block. A few of them have ladders and there is no there is no waiting. They're charging the walls. They're running towards the walls without any warning. So, uh-huh. where where is everybody on the map? Um, oh, up by the gate. Throw yeah. yourselves on. Hey. Um, Actually, I've, I'm going to do something better than that for you. One second. Uh, I'm just that kind of guy. One second. Um, book himself. Um, can Arden, as she sees the people with ladders coming, start firing arrows at people carrying the ladders? Uh, yeah, sure. One second. I need to do this first, and then I will. I will do that. Cool. So what I'm going to do is you guys 
are at the most pertinent part of the keep. Uh, not the keep, of the town. So this is the front gate. Uh, I'm going to have you defend the front gate. So what I'm going to do... Um, oops. Is save that. So you can tell they're all storming the front gate, essentially. So they're not, they're not going anywhere else. Um, they're, they're, there's no there's no tactics. They have the numbers, and they do have the numbers. Uh, you guys know from uh, from experience. Um, you, are, you are mercenaries. They should be sweeping right over you here. You've only got 250 men. Most of them are disorganized. They're not all prepared. They're not all on the walls. Um, so this could go poorly. Unless you guys do very, very, very well in holding them off. So... Since they're attacking one part of the of the keep, what does everybody want to do? So let's go to Arden first, since you did you did say you were doing something, Arden. So what what, what were you doing on the walls? She's gonna immediately start firing arrows at the men carrying the ladders, because mm -hmm. she doesn't want those. She doesn't want the men to get inside the wall. Cool, cool, excellent. Uh, anyone else? So, so Lockney, what are you up to? Um, I'll do the same as Arden. I'll do with uh... A ladder. Are you going to um, go outside the walls? No, no, no. I've got a, I've got a cavalry bow. Oh, I've got a cavalry bow. Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> nameless, what are you going to do? I'm going to be on the walls uh, with men in order to, if any ladders do get up, to you know push the ladders off mm -hmm. or fight whatever comes up. Excellent. And Andrew, please, what are you up to? He plays is, you know, he's on the wall, he's ready, and he does also have a longbow, so he's going to take a few pot shots, uh, but once the ladders get close, he's going to put the bow away and just have his axes so that as they come up. So he's going to take a couple of pot shots before the ladders get too close. Okay. So I'm trying to get this picture up. Uh, wall 20 is being a dick, as per usual. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you. Such a shame. Uh, so, let's throw that in there. Lockner, I don't think you're on the map. Um, no, probably not. Oh, I will be in about 10 hours' time. Do I'm going to uh, do? Uh, fuck the map, okay? What we're going to do is use Discord. Okay, look at that. That's what you do, Roll20, when you upload a fucking file, okay? That's how quickly it should be. So, if you look on Discord for me, I want you guys to tell me around about on this map whereabouts you are. So, whereabouts are you on this map? I'm on the right end of that tower. So, so, so just on the right right bit there, looking out over to the, to the, the fighting. Yeah, I'm like on the like close to the bridge, but on mm -hmm. the right side. All right. Okay. I am front and center. Front and center for you. Okay, it's now on, so I'm going to drag you guys over there. It's not very high resolution yet, so it really is ridiculous how it does this. Come up for me. Considering it's not come up to me, and I'm the person who put it on, you know, it's like, oh, there you go. Um, oh, I just done it twice, yeah, because I did that one about 20 minutes ago. So there you go. That's, that's oh. ridiculous. Okay. Throw myself on it. Oh, Throw yourself on it. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Let's start some. Yeah. Lovely. So you should be hearing battle sounds and dark and stormy sounds. Yes. Cool. Right. So fill, your, fill yourself in if you can, because um, because it, it'll be harder to move your token around if you don't. Yeah, this is a piece of shit. Do you want, do you want me to do weird. it? It's like. I have to zoom, I made my character or my blog bigger, but like I have to zoom in so much just to be able to fit. 
Oh, Here are your men. Are any of your men on the walls? Uh, yeah, Imagine a few would be, yeah. We would oh. need a few men on the walls for sure. Certainly Especially the dudes who have been axing. Learning axes with me would definitely be up on the walls. So Bjorn is... Where's Arden? Bjorn is up here. Um, Arden's right there. Um... And... A few more men here. Now these are all men, these are up here in five, so there's quite a lot of them, you know, there's quite a lot of men up here. And as you see, there are quite a lot of Falkir on their way up as well. So, th so they're, they're, they're not at the walls yet, obviously, they're just getting ready to get on the walls. And depending on what happens with the arrows coming in, we'll see how many of them actually get to the walls. It's just the first wave though, unfortunately. So. Um, I'm gonna let the archers this fire first. Like, then, let's see what happens. So, like, but even as they were further away, Art Arden would have started shooting. Yeah. Um, the, these guys are pretty far away, so you can stop begin okay. shooting now if you want. Go for it. That's a straight miss. So, um, Lochnir. I'm gonna give you five bows each. Lochnir. Nope, straight miss. Arden. Um, Andrew please has his bow as well. He's that long bow. That slams into a Falkir, but not the one you want. So, Me? Lochnir. Lochnir. Now. Arden, yeah, you did do that, but Lochnir now. I see, so I thought you meant she'd shot me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, Should uh, I guess shoot miss. as well? You can do if you want. Yeah. You will only get three, though. That's a straight miss. Arden? Uh, I'm just going to need two to catch up to the two of them. Okay, uh, go for another one. Cool. So so one goes slamming into a guy holding a ladder, and he goes falling down. One of his friends, though, picks it up and carries on running. So, Arden, that slams into a guy with a ladder, and but he carries on running. Mm. You have another two, Arden, if you want to do another two. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, all right. Oh, so, shit. so this the, the last one actually hits a ladder, right? And it takes out the, one of the central struts, and the ladder breaks in half as they're trying to they're trying to you know, pull it back up out of the mud. And uh, Lockney, do you want to carry on firing your last three? Yeah. Okay, uh, your bowstring snaps. No more arrows for you. Cool. Um, such shit luck this game. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but this uh, it picks what it picks one person every session goes. <laughs> You're done, my friend. You're done. Um, so, well, what I do is I grab an arrow each and, do, yep. and get ready to do um, Lord of the Rings job and like stab somebody in the face with an arrow. Yep, cool. Excellent. Just kill somebody with these fucking arrows. So the ladders are coming up. Uh, How many are there left that one's been destroyed? There is one. There is one here. There is one here. There is one here. And there is one here. Shit. Okay. There would have been more, but uh, one of them is gone. So the central one that was going to be here is gone. Now they're climbing up the ladders. And, and the ladders, as they are pulled up onto the walls, they hook onto the top of the walls. So they, they hammer on in there. So they're going to be bloody hard to this lodge at this stage. Uh, what would you guys like to do? The ladder's made of wood. The ladders are made of wood. I'd like to just chop off the top of the ladder instead of trying to unhook it. Cool. Um, it's going to need a bloody good roll. Do Go, for axes. Go for it. Not good enough, I'm afraid. Uh, you can give it another go if you want. I'll give you one more. Then you will take a free hit from the guy coming up the ladder. Oh no, if there's a guy coming up, I'm just I'm going to try to take one swing and then just turn that swing. It, you know, the next swings are all going to be at the guys coming up the ladder. Cool. So Arden, you were going to say something? Oh, I'm just going to be also firing at the men coming up the nearest ladder. Cool, go for it. Go until I tell you to stop. That is a hit. That, that, that guy is dead. I do have a tally here next to me where I've got the amount of men that they've got and how many men to go. Um, another guy is dead. Uh, do one more, why not? A miss. Okay, so um, Lockney, you have no bow left. And Andrew, please, your two 
happy to see people coming to the store to get your bow out. So, um, I guess. Oh no, he's per yeah. He purposely put his bow away once the ladders yeah. got close. So he's you know this is this is what he was waiting for. So, they are now at the top of the ladder and they're jumping onto the walls. Oh, let's uh, let's fix that. Try and uh, hack that ladder away as well. Sure. You got a sword uh, though. It's gonna be a, a spear though, haven't you? And a sword is gonna be a lot more yeah. difficult. You're gonna need a nat twenty, yeah. No, but, but, th th but there's no harm in it. There's no harm in it. No harm in trying. Um, if you if you try again, they will get an attack on you as you're trying. Not taking, not taking a free hit. Okay, cool. Uh, these guys are up here as well. Excellent. So, roll initiative. I will roll for them. That's one. Okay. Uh, that is a nine for me. Wow, Arden's uh, at the gate. Nine. Me. 24 for Arden. 23 for Nameless. Who's next? Did, did Lochnia roll? Lochnia needs to Yeah, he got 15. I got a 16. Okay. Got 15. So, so I'm our, it's, it's Ender, Main. please, then Lochnia, then your guys. And 16 under, please. Cool. So, it is Arden first. What are you doing? She's going to shoot that guy at point blank range. Cool. Have a plus three to your normal. Yep, he is dead. He falls back over the ramparts. He doesn't even scream. Just falls back over the ramparts. <laughs> then um, I'm also going to shoot that guy at blank. Cool. Do I also have the plus three? Or no? Yeah. Point blank. Um, that slams into him. You have remember the rules. You have another one. I'm gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, that one misses. That one misses. Cool. But uh, Bjorn does act with you, and he will attack. Three D twenty. That guy's dead, and send tumbling over the rampart. So he misses with his first swing, and then smacks his smacks his sword. He, he's dual wielding. He misses with the one axe. And smacks his sword into the side of this guy's head. And the guy falls back over the rampart and wrenches it out of his hand. And that's the eight. He's like, oh. And he gets out a knife with his other hand now. So who's next? That'd be Nameless next. So, what I will do... Um, I am going to use one of my feet. Yeah. The, uh, the Manticore Sting. Nice. I'm going to uh, spear through. Oh, that hasn't worked. I'll put a square. I'll put a square, guys. <laughs> That's what it does. That's true. Okay. I'm going to get. There we go. So, I'm going to go here, here, and here. Yeah. And spear all three of them. Shush kebab. In the face. Okay. And uh, do you want to read out? Because I've forgotten. So, we don't read out what that does. Yeah. Uh, sure. yeah. So, it says. Uh, Activation limit once for every point you have a uh, weapon proficiency for the spear you are using. Mm -hmm. Should you score a hit, you may exchange that for a critical hit that does damage to all enemies in a straight line that is the length of your weapon's reach. Nice. So roll a hit for me. So hopefully uh, this isn't a waste of a. That goes. Killing all of my, my targets? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I know how it feels. Anyway. <laughs> uh, First art in it, now the nameless? Everyone's stealing my kills. Oh, uh, that mind. is an 11. That is a hit, though. That is a hit. There's a grazing hit. They're right there next to you. Um, okay, if they were if they were anywhere not there, then that would not be a hit. But um, they are right there. So, so that, that's a critical hit, then, on all three. Yeah, so bang, bang, bang. And um, roll a might check. Not very high, just to get your spear, you know, you're leaving them over the side and like let them fall off the shish kebab. Um, that's fine. Eight is fine. So you, so you, so you leave them to the side, and they all just slide off the end of the spear. So nice. yes, yeah, there you go. Uh, so uh, let me see because I do have another. Feat. I'm just wondering if I can use. Um, he looks on in frustration as all of his his kills are. Still oh, there's more. There's a whole sea of folk here down here, my friend. Don't worry about it. 
Well, he's not going to say anything because of that, but it is, you know. He's, he, oh, is, he, he, does, he does have a little bit of a look. He's not looking, he's not giving the look too nameless. It's just the look okay. of like, <sighs> Let's go with, what, what's next? Can, can I shield bash the ladder off the wall? Ooh. Nancy. Give As long as you read it out so I can, I can remember what it is, then we'll see. Yeah. Uh, shield bash, activation limit once for every point of might you have per combat encounter. You hammer your shield into your foes, smashing them to the ground. Roll a might check. If you score a success, then your opponent is flung to the ground and must spend one action next turn getting to their feet. If you roll a reinforced success, you do one of two things. One, you can knock the foe backwards d20 feet in a fantastical feat of strength. Or two, you can apply Shield Bash to an extra two enemies, so long as they are within five feet of your target. Certain cool. enemies, namely very powerful ones, require a natural 20 for Shield Bash to take effect, but these are rather rare. Yeah, so, and this isn't one of those occasions, so um, go ahead, I will let you do that. Yeah, sure, because it's, it's a good use of your of your feats. Um, that is a success, is it not? Uh, should be. I yeah. Mean, what cool. counts as a um, anything from 13 to... Yeah, so yeah, that is, yeah, yeah. is a straight success. So, uh, um, I'm going to let you roll another mic check just to see if you can get this off the wall. It is dangling, though, off the wall after you've done that. Yeah, it's falling backwards. And there are a few men on it, and it go just like on Lord of the Rings. And, go, oh, and they go falling backwards onto the ground. It's not broken. Super it's, awkward for the people on the, on the top of the ladder. Just yep, like, I'm going to roll... This, this I'm going to roll... How many men did that kill? Uh, D30... Eight. Unlucky. So, so eight, eight, eight men are squashed by this ladder as it falls with men on top of it. Nice. Um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's eight men in one kill. I mean, that, that's what? That's what, 12 what, men in one round? Exactly. And you've got uh, one more attack as and well. And I've got one more attack, so yeah, I'm yeah. swing at this guy over here. Cool. Is that with your sword or is that with his spear? Always the spear. Okay. Nice. And that, that lances through his side and he goes falling back off the parapet. Onto the, and onto I'm the gonna put my arms in the air and say, "Well, my side is clear," and look to uh, look to um... <laughs> the sea of Falkia down this end. Of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I think that's probably the most impressive round we've seen so far in the campaign, which is pretty cool. Who's next? Please. It would be Androcles next, isn't it? Yes, and he's going to uh, he's going to ask this dude right in front of him. Yep, ask him a question. We can go First one, I believe, is a miss, yeah? Yep, that, no, that is a hit. 13 is a hit. Oh. Just a grazing hit, though. I rolled a 9 and a 13 for my two different attacks. So the, the first one would have been a First one's a miss, the second a one's a hit, yeah. though. Second one's a hit. So, so that's, you know, with the steel hand axe. Um, I you know I put one on the sharpening each of them so right now that's that's just a, a first tier hit so that would be uh fourteen s mm -hmm. fourteen superficial damage yep with two armor pen okay he is dead and then I'm going to move up to these guys and uh, you know continue the continue the press oh. Away you go. Uh, another one is dead. And then... Can I reach this other guy? You can reach him, yeah. Alright. That'd be it. That'd be one... No, actually, no. No, because you did one one action to attack, two actions to attack, and moving all that way will be another action. So you can move up to him. No. I'll wait here at the ladder for more to come up. Cool. So, uh, we now have... I think it's Lochmere. Yeah, Lochmere. It is. What's going on? Um, good question. I will... Um... Is, is Flissy up there with you, by the way? You have control of her. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah cool. I'll yeah. draw her on. What colour do you want her to have? I'll have a pop at this dude first. Okay. I don't say this dude. I'm going to um, go around. He will be... Um... Did me one side choose. Oh, there. Yep. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so if I have. So if these guys have this one, 
Let me see how this one. So yep. I'll have... That jobby there. Go for it. On there, yep. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know. Eight. Which side sucks? Don't get it. Alright. Hit them with my, my great sword. I'll put the arrow in the lap. Cool. Uh, You're just going over there with your great, really big lump of a sword, and I'll I'll do I'll do fifty as well as you there. So, D six, D twenty, B twenty. Cool. Um, this guy is dead, dead than Dillinger, and she's now coming over here with the rest of her time. And she can't do that. She had three attacks. The dice is still rolling. <laughs> okay, so the other guys are well. There's no one for them to fight, really. Oh dear. Oh. Okay, so um, you, yeah, yeah. Your your sword, you kill him. Actually, your sword clangs into the back of his head. He falls over the parapet, taking your sword with him. Oh, right. I'll take out my hacks then. Cool. Big uh. hack is out. Uh, you only done one attack, and you didn't even have to move very far because that was a little great sword you were attacking with there. Okay. Um. And I'll I'll clock the other guy nearest me. Then I give that go for it. Go for it. See how we do. Rolling. Rolling. No rolling. There it is. That was me. No. I I haven't even got it yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I have it. Oh, no, no, I still haven't got it. Yet. Fifteen, yeah. Oh, there. That was me, but you can take or leave that if you want. That is a hit. I can't see anything. Dean's rolling for you because that was a thirteen. He rolled it. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> All right. You're, you're going to kick yourself if your roll comes up and it's a bloody uh, twenty. It's a twenty-nine. Uh, uh, so uh, no, but he 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 is sliced in half almost with with the with the with the. Axe and goes tumbling down. Now, hey, you guys are getting the feeling those were very easy, easy dudes. They just came up, they took a licking, and then they went back again. But they're, they're, they're still coming. There's another wave on the way. All right, you do have a little bit of respite if you want to do anything. You didn't take any damage in that round, which is great. It's fantastic. Well, I guess we'll, I, I'll try to. Take this ladder off if I've got a moment. If I've got a moment. Sure. If you want to attack the ladders, you can do. It. This ladder's coming back up. Who wants to? Uh, uh, Arden, you have your bow. Yeah. Do you wanna... Is there any way to like shoot at the ladder so it comes apart, like at like strings or something? It'd have to be very good. It'd have to be a very okay. very good roll. In that can... case, um, I'll shoot at. Actually, I might use one of my feet, cool. which is spear shot. So. Um, if your shot hits, then it does so for double damage in a straight line, the full length of your weapon range. Nice. So, uh, do the ruler for me, from where you are. Okay. And what is your weapon range? 95 feet. Okay. So Although, to be fair, that... I mean, from, like from up on the wall, I don't, I don't know that you should be able to shoot through. Uh, it says from an elevated position. Yeah, you are from an elevated position. So there's one, okay. two, three, four, five, six being hit by that. Pick those through. Of course. Okay, so no, no, it, it, it goes, it goes flying wide. Well, you know, you can still use it another time. What else would you like to do? Um, I'll shoot at the people trying to get that ladder together. Cool. So like over there. Nice. So, so yeah, you you hit one of them, and he dies. The ladder is now okay. slamming onto the wall. Um, and, and I'll be I'll shoot at these guys coming up this one. Cool. Roll a few for me. Cool. And two more. Cool. Nice. So two of them are dead. Bang. I'll take him from back here because you know, Warhammer analogy. Take him from the back. So, um. We got up here. Yeah, well, they're just standing around because you guys have been doing such a good, God, a good job of killing everyone. They've just got swords and stuff. So, you... with with their uh, attacks from the last round. Yeah. Um, and 
as we've now got time now, mm -hmm. uh, before the next wave comes up, can I uh, try to inspire them to greater feats of strength and get them to haul at the uh, the ladders? Cool, yeah. Is that one of your... I remember that was one of your feats. Uh, so that one is... Let me I think it is. Read it. Um... Yep, Phalanx Commander. As a commander experienced at leading shield lines, Nameless is able to push his men to higher feats of bravery on the battlefield. Once per combat round, Nameless may roll a leadership check. Should this check be passed, then D6 NPC fighters of his selection may fight twice. So I'm going to convert that to let you, yeah, to, to let you order them to do something. Yeah, cool. Okay. Roll check uh, for me. Nice. That ladder is now being pushed back off the wall. Let's do a roll d30. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Guys, I don't even need you. Like so, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the the um, the ladder snaps off the wall. It doesn't go falling straight backwards. It goes falling along the wall. And it rakes off these two ladders that come falling back off the wall with people on them. And they go slamming back into into the men, causing a hell of a lot of damage. Hell of a lot of damage. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to uh, say my character notches all of these kills into the back of his shield. <laughs> um, so we're on to 30 plus 13 from, uh, from my, uh, my... Still only counts as one. So yeah. that's 43. Yeah. So... <laughs> so. Um, is going gonna, is gonna to have a little bit of concern that you're not going to have a whole lot of shield by the time this fight is done. But, uh, you know. The, the ladders good. are making their way back to the walls. So, Arden, if you would be so kind to... Uh, are you aiming that shot again? Um, can I use... Like, really um, is that a blue line? I want to... And move just like within five feet up there. So what I can do like this. So you're gonna do your special shot? Yes, I'm going to try. Okay, hold it steady. One, two, three, four, five, six again. Yeah, cool. Oh, I think it actually can get to the last one, seven. Seven? Cool. <clears throat> I'll try. Nice. So, and how much damage does it do? Um, that does 12 aggregate, or aggravated. Nice. Plus whatever, what, whatever pluses do you have? For that, I don't have a plus. Okay, cool. So a few of them are dead. Oh, wait, sorry, it does double damage. Yeah, exactly. Also. Sorry. So, yeah, so it's seven of them are dead. Aggravated. But, more fill the gap. These guys are very lightly armored, you're seeing. They've hardly got tunics on, really. Um, imagine um, they imagine lock me but without the skin armor. That's pretty much what these guys are. All right, so the ladders are coming back on, and eventually, have... you, can, you okay. I'm going to give you two more shots because you did one big one there. So do two more shots. Cool. Right. So only two of the ladders make it to the walls. This ladder. And this ladder over here. This ladder is still... They're still trying to get up out of the mud because it had such a heavy whack. But the Falkir are now on the walls. On this area. And not on there. They're over here. And they're all... Piling up behind this ladder here. Total War style. A few of them on top of the ladder here. Nice. Alright. Roll for initiative. This could get bloody. You, we want to be... Really, we want to be surviving the rounds against this lot. We want to be... Doing well against this lot. Oh dear. Okay. Um, so... Ooh, we tied. I'm on 18. 
Uh, and Thieves is on five. They stopped boarding and was like, was looking at the other walls, kind of just making sure nothing's going up. And then he kind of turns around and all of a sudden there's dudes there. It's like, wait, what? Nameless 25. That's oh, alright, um, everyone's dead, Nameless is going first. Alright, um, guys. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Lochnir rolled. Lochnir? What does Lochnir get this time around? Oh, do you want me to do it? I can do it. Yeah, yeah, if you, if you won't appear for me for ages either, but at least appear for everyone else. 14 your plus. plus what? So what, what are we doing? Uh, initiative? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus 4. Nice. 18. Well, that We're going to be rolling off in a minute. Uh, Nameless, do you want to kill everyone? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I'm wondering, do I, do I now kill everyone in front of Andrew, please, just to piss him off? <laughs> or do I go the other way? Oh. I mean, we have an archer surrounding him. Then. Just saying. Yeah, just but saying. I mean, it's more of archer. Men. Archer, <laughs> surrounded by man. Archer. This, what, this, what this is how you're getting into role playing an actual mercenary who's, who's good at his job. Who do like, you deal hmm. with five men by yourself with Bjorn? I mean, I'm not by. Yeah, exactly. I'm not by myself. I mean, there are two of us over here. Whereas this is like a clusterfuck to your left. So you're giving me permission, is what I'm hearing. Yes, and also <laughs> I think it's hilarious to piss off Andrew, please. So. Okay, cool. I love taking right. his kills. <laughs> So I'm gonna be... like, I was just going to go sit down after after this. Like, you guys do this then. Apparently no one wants to kill anything. <laughs> you guys have a fucking weapon. So, I'm going to do you. my free move of 15 feet. Can someone do yep. a, a ruler for me? Oh, yes. yes. Let's just do the ruler for you. Yes. This there, is we there, go. Go. there we go. There you go. So, I'm just going to go to... Let's think. If I go there, then I can spear through four, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. There. We... Eh. There. Is there that it? Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Get ready for the natural uh, one. I've forgotten. I've forgotten what I have to do. <laughs> New... It's it's called suspense, honestly. Um... So. Oh, it's just just a standard roll to hit. Roll to hit. Go. Oh, that is a standard hit. And uh, what, what damage do you do again? Well, uh, I switch it for a crit. Oh, that's, yeah. That's bang, 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 bang. So I'm up to 47. Uh, mic check, um, please. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, so you, you just leave, yeah, So you spear them all and then you shuffle to the at the end of the wall with like four moaning Falkir, like, oh, <laughs> towards, towards it. And then you just like. Leave your spear up, and they go sliding off. off so the, off the I walls. will then move to uh, that, and yep. I will shield bash uh, the ladder. Cool. Going to big roll. Is that, is that a mic check? I think that's a mic check. That's yep. Sorry. You're going to big big roll. Is a mic check. Nice. Cool. Uh, that doesn't remove it. It does make it a bit shaky, though. And these guys are looking very nervous on, on the ladder as they're climbing up it. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, you get one more action, don't you? Uh, no, because I did the move in the middle. Okay. Um, who's next? So, everyone's rolling off. So, let's roll d20. I'll roll for me. That's for me. Okay, 16. I'll roll for Lochnir. <laughs> Lochnia, you're going first, my wow. friend. What, what would you like to do? I'm um, nearest person with my axe. Yeah, yeah you same. need two people with your axe, yeah. <laughs> Remember your feet, that's what I will say. Remember your feet. Only works with great sword. Ah, right, okay, yeah. Which is currently on the floor below us. To be fair, right, Lochnia, do a perception roll for me. Uh, oh, God. And uh, plus ten. So. Ten. I think you dive off the wall and go get your greatsword. Oh, oh Jesus, really? Jesus Christ! Um, you see this man here. He's walking up with your sword in his hand, and he looks really pleased. He's like, "Yeah, look at this!" And he's just like, you know, 
You can't wait to kill someone with this sword. He's just... Okay, uh, I still haven't seen which guy is that on the Oh, uh, uh, this guy over here. Oh. <laughs> it's the dude right in front of me. Next to Lochnir, but in front of him, off the wall slightly. Alright, so I can't get in yet. Um, you can run over there if you want to. You can make your way. <laughs> I think I've got a couple people between you and him. Yeah, to be fair, he, can... how far is he away from you? He's, he's... It's below an action. You can run over there without, you know, spending any actions, really. Yeah, you, you'll have to go literally behind, so, like, nothing's pinging on the map or anything, so I can't... I don't know. Oh, I still don't know. right. Okay, so, so, so where you see Androcles, um, he's the guy on the wall right in front of him. Right. Oh, okay. Blue spot. Yeah, so, so, so you can see there, if you use your ruler, you can see... Yeah, hey, I just saw a ping! Ah, and a ruler! Oh my god! That go. was like five minutes ago! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Interactive, I didn't realise! It was a fucking slideshow! Yeah. But, um... <laughs> I, think, I think you go over there, you retrieve your greatsword, and you massacre everyone around Androcles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, I'll, I'll, well, I'll, I'll start moving forward and, and just like... Um, if you ever see this ping sometime this century? Yep, I've got it. Yep. Two yeah, people out the way with my axe. Okay, so 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 first things first. Roll a mic check for me. Uh, and have a plus twelve. Okay. Because of your natural twenty there. It's it's. The it, moment. What what's your normal what's your normal modifier? Right, plus five. Plus five. So plus seventeen, yeah. So you you uh, pick this guy up. You literally pick him up with one hand. What would you like to do with him? You can do whatever you want with him. Throw him over the wall. Throw him over the wall. Yeah, another mic check. So I'll roll that. Which is mine still hasn't rolled yet. <laughs> um, that's a re-roll. Over he goes. So you just, you, just, you just sling him over the wall. That's him gone. Doesn't appear. <laughs> it's great. Bang. Okay. We'll cool. carry on and um, attack the next guy in front of me until I get to the guy with my sword. Uh, yep, yeah, you, you can run along the wall here, the crenellation on the wall, if you want to. Um, or you can just go straight up to to the area down the stairs. My luck, I'll either bloody stun everyone with my twinkle toes or fall off the wall and die. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll run along the wall. Why not? Let's... Uh, yeah, death or glory. Um, yeah. So, uh, cool. I'm going to roll a... Hmm, probably speed check. What's your speed modifier? Two. Two. That's fine. So you're, you're still on the wall. It's fine. And would you like to do anything to these men here? There's a lot of men around. Uh, one of them has your sword. There's another man in front of you. And there's another man on this other side of of Androcles. I'll kick the guy who's directly in front of me mm -hmm. who hasn't got, and then enough actions left. I'll bury my axe in the head of the guy with my sword. Cool. So you're gonna kick the guy in front of you. So roll a mic check. So I'll roll that. So a mic check. Five. Yep. Yeah. Five. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's booted off the wall. We need to do a speed check. To get this, what's the modifier for it? Two, fifteen. So you you kick him off the wall, and you he, he's you've got the the he's got it in his mouth now, but he's holding it with one of his hands as well, so he can grab onto the ladder. You rip it out of his mouth, and you now have the and a, a great axe that you need to put away. And now you've got your great sword. So what would you like to do with your last action? Um, is he still alive? He's falling back off the wall. So he, okay. he's teetering and, and he's he's falling back down here. Okay. Is there anybody within axe range? Um, you have your greatsword in your hand if you'd like to use that. But it, it's you also oh, have an axe. Just, I'll just drop the axe and yeah. Um, oh, I'm updated for a week. How many people are in front of me? Uh, one, two, three, four are in range. Uh, I'll use my ability that you've been hinting at. Um, and uh, do a big old swing. Cool. Uh, you do have a special rule for a big old swing. Yes, that's what I just. That's what I said. Oh, sorry, mate. Sorry. Uh, so, what? What? What are the rules of it? What are the rules of the big old swing? What is it? Every point uh, of weapon proficiency, I'm great sword. I can use it five times. This battle. Mm -hmm. uh, blah blah blah. Six opponents in front of you. 
D6. Okay, roll a D6. It's got to be a 3, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it, it's a 3 above all the time. So I will roll D6. Yep. Oopsie daisy. Bang. Uh, so that's 3, so you can hit 3. Now what happens if you hit 3? Um, should you might be a 5 above, which it is, and Great Cleave deals an extra D6 of damage. So I do a regular... It doesn't say how much damage I do normally, I guess I just do my normal. Yeah, you do. So so, so you roll a single attack now. So I will do that. Uh, okay. Funny. Uh, that would be a hit because you've got an extra four, isn't it, on there? That would be a normal yes. hit. Great sword skill is four, yeah. Yeah, that's a normal hit. And so that would do that damage plus d6. So it would be d6. Six. Your previous D6 roll has come up. Yeah. Uh, um, so, so yeah. So an extra one damage, and that is three attacks. So that is three dead. From from and from. So you just go over there and from. Just like yeah. Um, I will be going next. The sound that it makes. The Falkir are going to get a turn. This is amazing. This is cool. Okay. Um, I. But they haven't had to up until now. But I will do. They will go at the same time. I was, I was that. So oh, okay. all this Wait, happens. Mike, is there is there a way to turn up your mic? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, if not, any chance you could kind of just speak a little louder? Yep, I can do that. Thank uh, you. So the guys on this side of the battlefield, on where Arden is, three D twenty, and these are going into uh, two into Arden, one into. Um, oh dear, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I, I, I need a bother day, lads. I may, I may as well just. Uh, why have I written stats for you? Why have I it's written like stats for you? That one guy, I think he's. Oh my god! Why have I written stats for these people? They don't want to fight. Okay. Uh, so, all of the Falkir on this side of the battlefield, with, their, with what they're doing, they, they, they come in there and they, they try and swing. And um, you guys are just diving out the way and they're just mooching out the way. So, two guys in the middle of the battlefield, unfortunately. Um, on the other hand. Is this any better, by the way? I, I've That's just brilliant. turned it up. In. That's brilliant, yeah. yeah. Excellent. Um, so these guys are going to attack Nameless because they're absolutely terrified of his fucking spear. Um, that is one major hit going through there, and that will do ooh, 10 aggravated damage. Let's have a look what my armor is. Uh, I, think, so... I think, is your armor 9? Uh, my armor is, let me see... Four, plus two for the oil, uh, and I've got nine written down. Six, nine, and a helm. So okay. my my armor's thirteen. Okay, so that would be so your armor is thirteen. So that would be nameless's armor is thirteen. <coughs> Finish that. So that is seven aggravated damage after everything's taken off. I, th I think I might be unconscious. Are you? G give given my vitality is one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So that so the glass cannon has been broken. That's, that's, that's good. God damn it! I did take like fifty with me though. Y you did. You did. <laughs> um, so, uh, and the two guys over there are going to attack Fel uh, Fliss Flissy, and they're going to hit her pretty staunchly, but she's still standing. She's still standing. So, let us roll initiative once more. Oh no, your guy, your guys get, your guys get an attack. You don't. Oh yeah, shit. Sorry, I, I'm so used to you being being at the start. But I can, uh, so so, two, four, six, seven, six. D twenty. See how you guys roll. So, one Falkir is dead. Bang. And one Falkir is dead. Bang. Okay, cool. Um, Arden. My turn, right? Okay. Go for it. Shooting, oh no, shooting these guys close to me. Yep. Do I, oh shit, I was gonna say do I, oh, sorry. Um, Rolling do 20 I plus four. Plus, <laughs> I know, no do one I will notice. Or like <laughs> right in front of me? Uh, yeah, you can shoot them right in front of me. It's fine. You, you, do, you do get a plus. Okay, yep, yeah, one's dead. And two are dead. One more. Three are dead. 
Bam. So, uh, 800 more to cleave through, so. Beyond yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> So, you'll be glad to know that the, the tide has stopped somewhat. So, these guys are on top of the wall, but the tide has stopped for a second. And now <laughs> the next wave comes through. One just turned dark grey. Yeah. And, uh. Oh, Androcles and Bjorn haven't gone yet. Yeah. Cool. I'll do that in a minute. I'm just putting these guys on here, just in case you wanted to hit them instead. I do want to hit as many as you can give me. Okay, these That's the one thing about it. it was good that I was going after the enemies, because more enemies can show up for me to kill. These guys are in heavy armor, so these <coughs> are not effing around. Uh, so they all have um, padded leather jerkins underneath. Looks like mail, padded armor, things like that. Uh, all of them were, uh, are wielding axes, two-handed axes, so quite large berserker axes. So, um, Bjorn will go. And he will cleave the head in of this last guy over here. Oops, get rid of that. Bang. Excellent. And now it will be Androcles' turn. So he's close enough to hit. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna like scoot right up. I guess scoot up a little bit so I can hit both of these guys without mm -hmm. using a action to move and just swing with my axes. Okay. 18 for the first. No attack. ones, please. And ooh, a nine for the second. So I got one solid hit with my mm -hmm. with my cross axe on the first guy. One guy's dead before you need to roll your d6. Yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna roll a. I'm gonna use a second action to attack one in front of me. That's a hit with a fault here, uh, you know, axe. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a the weaker hit, but that's still. I'm gonna roll uh, 14 axe. I'm gonna roll something for him. the prop. Okay, he staggers backwards, trips over Nameless's body, and goes falling over, and then dies. It hits his head on the ground and dies. So, okay, so that's two actions. Does that hang on? Does that count as my kill? Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. Yeah, okay, oh man. I hate all of you so much. And then I'm going to use my third action to move right, kind of kind of stand over Nameless, make sure he doesn't just get killed. Cool. And just kind of be between Nameless and this uh, this last fault here as well. Cool. And, you know, be right up on the ladder so as people come up, right. I'm right there. So, archers, have at it. Go. Fire. Uh, I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you... One archer that's left. I'm going to give you five. Five shots. Go for it. Oh, nice. One that's of the a lot of natural 20s this one, Yeah, one of, this ladder still is stuck in the mud. Uh, as a guy finally gets it free, an arrow stabs through his hand and he goes... Aah! And, and drops, the, drops, the, uh, the, drops the ladder on somebody else's foot. He like, like, leans down he's broke with his broken foot like... Aah! So that's it's like three stooges nonsense going on with that ladder. Probably. I mean, those are still still are the. Actually, those two guys just get hacked down by the more experienced dudes coming up behind them and just disgusted with them, and they start climbing the ladder. So, top of the ladder now. Um, I'm almost halfway through my arrows. Somebody roll a perception check for me. Ooh, well, I'll do it. I can. Do it. Uh, no, you're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're looking at the lights, my friend. Oh, God. Yeah, let someone else roll. I was looking at the light. Now I'm killing people again. Yeah. I'll try. Excellent. Oh, I'll try to try. Uh, no. So, um, who rolled there? Because... I'm all right I'm seeing is Arden's. Arden's rolled. Oh, Lochnir's rolled a 21. Um, Lochnir, you look over and you can see sitting on a horse, he looks like a, a Riemann soldier. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah he, he, he's sitting on a horse and he's uh, directing traffic, so to speak, with his men around him. And there is a sea of these heavy, heavily armoured men around him. 
A. But yes, you'd be here. Um, far away. Oh, and I guess a. a you think it's probably in range of Arden, if you can get a message to her. But she, she's uh, too enamoured on firing down into the into the sea of uh, the unfortunate sea of uh, men here. To yourself as a missile. Go over the wall. Oh, um, I'll carry on running along the, the top of the wall then. All right, towards... all right, Mr. Natural Twenty over there. With his, <laughs> you know. natural one. Yeah. All right, go for it. Um, if you want to run over the wall, you can definitely do that. If you want to run over it? Where, 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 where do you want to go? Uh, so, which one is Arden? Just tell me which. She's over here. Light blue blob. Light blue blob on the right hand side. On the right hand side, yeah. See where the ruler's coming at us? If it shows up yet? Oh, um, yeah. I'll, I'll get as close as I can to her. And cool. then stand on the corner. Cool. Let me let me roll that. Let me roll that check. Cool. Yeah. So, so that's fine. I'm gonna let you go. You can give up your next turn to get over there and talk to her, if you want to do that. And uh, that's a long way. That's a long way. You're gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so you literally go sprinting across the wall. Do um, do some mic checks. Do some mic checks. Do three mic checks for me. Um. Come on to one. one, two, three. Okay, you go barreling along the wall. This guy's knocked into this guy over here, so that he's not dead, unfortunately. And these guys knock. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. This guy's dead. And this guy's dead. As you just run along the wall and knock them off. And finally, do one last mic check for me. Doing so well, just a minute. <laughs> no. Don't worry. Hopefully, this will be solved when we move over to. I still, have, I still haven't had time to do it. Still rolling. All right. Um, you. I'm gonna say you drop kick this guy and he goes backwards on with that fall that we got there, and you land there. So, Arden Locknear slams down next to you. Um. Knock me, what would you like to say? Human man on the horse, right there! Hitting the human man on the horse. Mm -hmm. uh, do I recognize him from before as like the you, same guy? You do, yes. And he looks like he's about 90 odd feet away. You could probably make the shot, but it would have to be a bloody good one. You're well, looking... my range is 95, so yeah, I'll shoot. I'll aim for him. When you get your turn, sure. You can be. Yeah. So. Um, what I'm going to do, just for a second, hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. Go. Um. So, alrighty. Got it. And save. Oh. Boom. And. Um. Drag this over here. Lock it on there. Actually, don't do that. Uh, okay, so on Discord is what the guy looks like. Uh, one second, whenever it. Let me. There we go. He's sitting on his horse. What the horse? Merrily directing traffic at the moment. So, let's roll initiative. Let's roll initiative. Uh, these guys may get a decent roll. Let's see. They do. They're on 27. So. Um, yeah, these guys don't fuck about. So, 27. Who's next? Andrew, please, 23. Uh, no, I think Arden's... Arden's I'm, I'm just going from what I see. I'm writing them down. Okay. Arden's 20... 26. 26. We need... Our nameless is unconscious. Right? Lockney's 22. Yep, Lockney's 22. Cool. Excellent. Use so. me as a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> A weekend at Barney's. Ar Arden... 
We'll go just Strap after me to your guys. arms. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys are now running up onto the walls. Uh. So, three on the right hand side against Arden. This could go poorly. This could be a party wipe. It could be. Uh, so, uh, that is. Uh, what's your armor? Sorry? Talking to uh, my armor is five. <laughs> Shit, okay. <laughs> Uh, so that is seven aggravated That's damage. Uh, oh, okay. I think I'm unconscious because my health was six. Okay, so you're done. Cool. It's okay. Um, Bjorn will see that. I'm going to give him double a double round. Why not? So he barrels in and kills one of them who goes falling off and starts dragging you away from the fight over here somewhere. <laughs> The rest of his turn. Okay. Uh, Locknear, you will get your turn back. Uh, so, there you go. You, when, he, when it comes to you, you will get your turn. So, the guy surrounding... There's three of them. Uh, two of them are going to attack your men there. Uh, so, 60... 20. Um, those two men are dead. So, they're hacked into with massive axes. And this, these two guys here are going to attack Andrew, please. So that is. Doo -doo -doo. They went up the ladder, so. Going to get one. Two, three, two, one. Uh, oh, one. Our guy. And what, is, what is your. What is your armor? The oil. Does the oil give one or two points? I can't one. remember. One. It's yeah, one so point use, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm at nine. Or okay. does it count for both of your pieces of armor or just the one? Just like your. your just, the, just, just, the, just the chest. So. Yeah, so nine. So, so that's six aggravated damage. Okay. Lucky man. That's most of my health. Lucky man. Um, your guys will will go over with them as well. So like so, but they will attack back and at the same time. So, on the right hand side, left hand side. Sorry, you're gonna one's gonna attack Lissa. You're all right. One d twenty. Oh dear, she is unconscious. So she she is knocked back, and she goes falling down the stairs down here, and ends up dragged down to the bottom here by some other by by your other men. Now, judging by the walls, look like they're going to fall at this stage. Uh, so now would be a good time to tell me where you put your men. There are more men. These aren't the only men. Would you like another wave of them on the walls? Yeah, they'd have been right downstairs. So I imagine once the you know it's fighting begins in earnest, and there's room for them up here. Mm -hmm. They'd have come up and joined us, yeah. Alright, cool. Right. Um, nameless, you are you are conscious, but you can't say anything. Um, sorry, but you can't move. You can you can speak, though. As uh, you are, and you're hurt, but you can speak. So the second wave of your man comes onto the walls. Bear in mind, this has gone better than I thought it would. So, considering how things are going, uh, that is their turn, and your guys will attack back. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So your guys go hammering on in. Yeah. And they just start hacking. They, they just throw themselves in. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven die. As if I'm conscious them. and I can speak, can I rally the men? Yeah. All right, let's I, have it. I was hoping you'd, you'd say let's that. Let's have it. Okay, go for it. Uh, Cool. Uh, yeah, cool. So, so D6 meant, so roll a D6. No, that's not... Uh, is it? Then yeah, it's roll D6. I think oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah. many men get two attacks? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah! So you select the man that you would like to get two attacks. 
The ones that are close to people. Okay, so one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> then we'll get another two attacks. Got 12, D20. Got one, two, oh, three, wow. four. Okay, yeah. So D20. The, these three on this side are dead. And now the men are, with that 20, they're surging down across the wall to help out Androcles. They're all shouting, protect the foreigners. So, there you go. Right, who's next? It will be... Arden. I think it is Arden now, yeah? I can only talk, right? I can't really move. You can only talk, but you can direct Bjorn to do things. Um, I guess I'll tell Bjorn. You, get the man to the so Oh, wait, wait, wait. Arden's turn. Let's, let's... <laughs> I guess just... Oh, that would be cool if he could do that, hold me up. <laughs> but no, I'm all saying to just go for the men coming up the ladder, like, leave me back here. Just, I got it. Okay. Um, he will, you, you get to direct him, like, where do you want him to be? He's going back up the, he's going back up the, uh, oh. it's okay, don't worry about it. He's going back over here, I guess. Cool. Yeah, I'll get those guys. Cool. So he's going to attack each one of them. Um, he kills one, and he's locked in a, in a battle of strength with the other one on, on this ladder next to next to Locknia. So, um, Locknia, no, Androcles. Yeah. Now is your moment to shine, if there ever was one. Yeah, let's find the guys I can kill. Yeah. Let's uh, start axing some people. Why, why? Why don't we? Why don't we? Because things are moving at the time. So why don't we move some men around here? You should have lots of questions to ask, and, uh, and, uh, no. Androcles is the green circle hiding behind Nameless. Oh, he's, he's over like, Nameless. Apparently he's underneath me. Yeah, he, he's basically using <laughs> Nameless' body as a shield, just lying on the floor, hacking at ankles. Wait, who's the orange and... That is the, that is the, one of the light armoured Falkir. Right. Just, just right. Ignored. <laughs> Come on, get with it. Yeah. Um, so I, I was standing over nameless between him and the. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, the last what, what, of guys. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? Mesh. Ooh, that's not great. Okay. okay. Do you have any? Exactly. Um, do you have any um, feats that you could use? Uh, just to, I have one that ignores them, but to help me ignore armor, and you know, helping people and. The re rolls against okay. the deep ones in this. Yeah, yeah. So one Nothing more. You get one more attack though. There's one more. You get three, three attacks. Remember? Yeah. Well, that was that was the two different axes. In my first attack. So I actually okay. got uh, two more actions. So second action. That's one hit. Two. Yeah. So one one hit with the uh, Falkir Hander, which is the. Uh, the frost damage is two plus the. Hmm? That's just a basic hit, so that's four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fourteen s plus two two with um. Oh, sorry, it's sharpened. So fifteen s plus two frost and a three armor pen. And then the other one weapon is uh, one is dead. And the other, uh, my second attack was the with, with my steel axe, which would have been. 17 aggravated for on a 20. Mm -hmm. Two is dead. With the TR. And then then I've got one last full, uh, one last action, so yep. whoever else is, yeah, there's more guys next to me. <laughs> that's that's with the Falkir hander, so that's, that's a lot. That's, yep, one yeah. dead. Carry on. Um, and then I uh, missed with my last one. Yeah, miss with the last one, unfortunately. Okay, now we're gonna they're going to barrel in on here again. Excellent. So, who's next? That would be... Rolling again, aren't we? Me? No. Oh, no, no, Locknear. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah Locknear's not gone. Yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll chuck the nearest dude. Um, there's only one in front of me at the moment, yep. isn't there? Yep, there's one guy in front of you. I'll cleave him unto the paps. Mm -hmm. and, uh, right, um, that's... Got me to do it. 
Oh, no, it's not. I'll get there eventually. Okay. Hey. There we go. Mm. He is cleaved off the ladder. Yes. Um, there's nobody else around to attack, is there? Nope, but you still got two options. It's a ladder. Yeah, if I can unhook the ladder. Go for it. Um, you get two options, so roll a... Yep, roll, roll a mic check for me. Hearing at some point. I think what we'll do with your rolls, we'll leave them for 10 seconds, and if, if not here in 10 seconds, I'll roll. That's what we'll do. Yeah, I li literally still say. Even, so even if it comes through after what I've rolled, you can't select that roll. It's, it's... Yeah. yeah, you just have to roll for me, sorry. Cool. What I'll do next time is I'll get a webcam. Yeah. Uh, my dice box. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, I'd love to do that. Yeah, that's great. Um, cool. So that's that's unfortunately a miss, but we can do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. Um, go for it. My first one hasn't even come through yet. Yep. Yeah, so so yeah. You, unfortunately, you fail, but you are standing on top of the ladder. Um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Bjorn's right there. He will see you doing that. Let's have one more go. You and Bjorn there. So plus five to this one. Yeah. So you pick it up. Um, you actually. How, what, what is your might? A five. Yeah, you can actually pick this ladder up. So, what would you like to do with it? I'm keeping it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting added to my ladder collection. Uh, I'm a secret ladder fetishes. Yeah. <laughs> put, it, put it up. It's gonna pull it up. Yep. Pull up, and, um, it, and it, it slams down here. Your men get out the way, and it, it slams down over here. So one of the ladders are out of action, and I'm going to say this one's out of action as well. It's 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 too broken. So we've got two ladders left. You just stick your tongue out of the guy's like, no, I've got your ladder. Yeah. <laughs> so here comes the next wave, causing a hell of a lot of damage to them, which is great, great stuff. Should um or I don't know. What can I do? All right, so I'm going to allow uh, everyone who's unconscious. Yeah, needs to roll a d6 for me. Coming one. Cool. Um, you are still on the floor for this for this round, both of you. But higher the better. So this is going back some couple of hundred feet. So there's there's no end in sight. This, dawn may come before the guys are are, are all dead. Um, you guys are free to make any decisions that you wish. Okay, this isn't a campaign where you're Anything has to happen. You can all die here to a man if you wish. Uh, if you think you can hold the walls, you can leave the walls and go back into the city. You can evacuate the city. You can do whatever you wish. I'll bite their ankles. Do <laughs> <laughs> we drop down? So, um, let's roll for initiative. Oh dear. Okay, that's. That's 30 for them. Knocking mm -hmm. is 23, good. And Nameless is 18. Uh, Androcles is 10. Nameless is Should 18. I even roll if I'm technically on the ground? Uh, not really, but you can do if you want, just in case. Alright. So, uh, they will go first, and they will jump on. You can see that they're now that now there's a gap in the lines. They're they're running straight towards this, and they're trying to grappling hook over the wall. Do I do I not go first with the uh, with the eighteen? Uh, no, they they rolled a thirty. They rolled thirty. Yeah, yeah. They they rolled a seventeen plus thirteen. Oh, okay. So the the I... yeah they're they're pretty they're pretty. Hot and heavy, these guys. So these guys are over here, and all swarming the one ladder. But the four guys are on here, 
are going through, and they how many actions do they have? Three. So, one, two. They're on the other side of the wall. So they've grabbed and hooked down, and they're on the other side of the wall. Okay, and now they're now they're going to the gate over here, underneath. Cool. You do have another wave of men, and they are going to run into them and try and kill them when it's their turn. So I'm going to do this. Oops. Sorry. Oops, it's easy. Could just do this, couldn't I? Copy. Paste. Right, but this is your last wave of men. So they can get called in whenever you wish. Whenever you want. Uh, now might be a time where you might want to hold them back to get on the walls. Because more of their men will get on the walls. We'll be trying to get on the walls. So these... Whoa. Well, this is more important. I just... Uh, you paste. copied and pasted the uh, Yeah, map. I did. <laughs> um, so, uh, more of them will get on, on the wall over here. So there you go. Right. Uh, they will now get to attack. So, uh, Androcles, uh, two will attack you. Alright, um, that is, uh, after your armor, that is six superficial yeah, damage. Alright, so you've hit the deck, and you, you, you fall on, uh, roll, roll a dice, roll d6. No, roll d20 actually, roll d20, sorry. d6, what am I doing? Yeah, okay. Um, you, unfortunately, you fall straight on to Nameless. Uh, so, you know, you, you guys are like just, you know, you're just lying on top of him. And uh, as Nameless is directing troops, like, he gets winded as this unconscious, large, you know, Achaean half-breed just land on top of him. Um, your men, though, um, Nameless, this may be the time to, if you're going to make a, uh, give them something to, to do, you may as well do it now. Are you going to try and direct people to do something, or are you going to... What, what do we think, guys? Are we uh, retreating inwards, or are we staying up on this wall? Oh, I'm the only one left standing of our group. Mm -hmm. So what do you um, reckon? Yeah, discretion is a better part of valor. Do you think tactical retreat? Yeah, and ta by tactical, I mean fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I guess I could call to the men uh, and basically let's just fuck off through the town and out the other gate and, uh, yeah, get people to carry me. Cool. Um, Arden. And, and Arden, obviously. Let, let's forget about the emo. Arden. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Uh, and, oh. Nameless, you are awake, as in you can move, you can crawl, you can stagger. Arden, you are all, you can also crawl and stagger. Uh, but I would like you um, to roll Actually, no. I'm going to give you a choice. I'm going to give you a devil's bargain here. Okay. You can do one of two things. You can either do nothing, which is perfectly fine, or you can sacrifice one of your vitality points. This will allow you to take a shot at that general you were told to shoot before with Bjorn steadying you, which will no. be an automatic critical hit that does double damage if you hit with it. And that is basically... The shot that you did to him last time, you know, that's still in your mind. You're, you're gauging it. It's the same distance. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it, considering I could miss. You could miss. But, yeah, any, but any hit would be... So basically, an 11 or above would be... Uh, with, with all your modifiers, would be enough to do it. Gamble. Fine. Gamble. <laughs> who needs vitality points? Really? Who needs vitality oh, points? I've only got one. <laughs> right. I, I'm down to six or five health points. Okay. Okay. Boom. There you go. So he's holding you, and uh, the the man is currently. Whoops, Daisy. He's he's sitting in his in his in his uh, saddle. Very pleased with himself, and he sees the defences being overrun. Until an arrow comes out of the darkness, 
and slams right into his eye. And he rocks backwards on his on his saddle. And he doesn't even fall off. He still, if you look at that uh, picture, both of his hands are now holding the bridle of his thing, and he's just and he's just there, with his mouth open, looking to the sky, and no one's noticed that he's dead in in the saddle. And uh, and Bjorn just 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 pats you on the back and says, "It's a bloody good shot. I uh, think we need to leave." <laughs> I'll just kind of a uh, grunt and um, put my arm around like his back so he can help get me out of there. Okay, so so he takes you down to the here, and you guys hobble down the stairs as your men. So. Um, Lochnia, um, the men are now looking to you because um, Nameless is on the, uh, staggering around on the floor. You know, um, the, the guys around there are, are trying to get words out of him, but he's pretty much not silly. So, what what would you like to say to them? What, what's your order? Um, well, by now we're probably sort of ankle deep in blood and guts, aren't we? Yes. It's a tactical retreat, fighting retreat, in good order. Cool. Uh, we'll defend the bottom of the stairs and the gate. Do a might and attraction, please. But have a plus three to your attraction, because you're very, 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 very large, and you've been very quiet up until now. So like, oh, he's talking now, you know, that sort of thing. You have a very big booming voice. Okay, it's rolling. Don't worry, I've got your, I've got, I can roll for you in a minute. If you... La la la, la la la. Uh, and then we across. I'm rolling. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, <laughs> the, these guys they're, they're they're doing a fighting retreat. Okay, and these guys up here they're trying to slaughter these. They run in. They're trying to slaughter them, but the gate doors open, so the gate is now open, and Falkir are pouring into the city. Okay, your bodies are dragged by your men back from the fighting and over to here, but you lose quite a few as they as they help you out. Okay, mm. and all of this will come back later on when you see how many men we've lost. Here's the roll. <laughs> Literally, the rolls have just appeared now. <laughs> That's and in yours. So there we go. There we go. The rest of the men will have to be left behind, I'm afraid. Um, so let's move back to the to the city map. Now, where are we retreating to? Are we retreating just off the we wall and trying to hold the, the city? Because we can, it'll be easy to lose them in there. Or we're retreating from the city. That's fine. Um, there are no more fighting men left after what you already have with you. So, are you taking men? Are you taking all of the men with you? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let's well, see why we'd leave them behind. Well, you can leave them to, to cover your treat if you wanted to. It's up to you. Uh, well, unless anybody wants to volunteer. Andrew, has you suggest setting some fires as we escape to help um, cover our retreat and to make the town unusable to them. They burn anything, everything anyway, so... Yeah, they might still be in the town when the fires start. Dorthin is, is standing by the well. And it looks like he just got up from a nap. He's like, "Oh, how? Uh, what's happening?" Uh, as you guys are walking, are you running this way towards him? So this might sound crazy, but I need you to burn the town. <laughs> no problem. As we leave, I, I'm gonna turn to Galton and says, "As we're leaving, he, he's literally burning it down. It. He's he's literally burning it. He, he, like the, the second he's told to." Like the house that has number nine, it's on fire. Like he's just, he's just burning the like, shit out of it. Can we like carry him as he burns behind us? Can sure. Like a backwards flamethrower. Sure. He's just, he's just loving it. He's just, he just, <laughs> he just, he, 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 he looks at Nameless and he says, "Hold this, young man," and throws his, throws his staff to you, and then just like he, he's using both of his hands to just like burst out flame and roll all, all around him. As we just run out. Cool. Um, what I'm going to say is that because you guys are going towards the Grailwood, which is this end exit here, um, all of the buildings uh, here and around the sides are burning as he goes. And hopefully they'll spread to other buildings. But we'll see. And you guys make your way out or way, way your way out of the gate. Could you get on your 
the Thane Valley map for me, please. So, um, you guys run into the Grailwood with your men, with the with the men that you have, and you are. Is my, uh, sorry, uh, are the do is the donkey and the horse with us? Yes, they are. Thank oh, fuck gosh. for that. Okay. <laughs> We're actually Huge. fighting on the wall. You just didn't notice them. <laughs> yeah. They've been with us the whole time. They're just like shadow mirroring it up over up there. Um, so you guys are in the Grail. What you hear the burning behind you, and you are getting flashbacks to the last time you did this. Not not a couple of days ago, another another town burning. So where would you like to head? Probably the Bowery. Yeah. It's probably to the keep that we were just at. Cool. Or Arden was just at. Cool. Arden, do you want to lead them, lead them through the woods then? And go to. Yeah. No, okay. I think he's going to ditch us and we're going to just wander around in the dark. Make use <laughs> of your feet that goes into the Grailwood. Whenever you're in the Grailwood. Oh, do I need to do any investigation roll? Yeah, because it's night time now. It's not uh... a. <laughs> Nice. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, that's, that's fine. And one more. <laughs> cool. And one more. Oh, wait. Should I be doing 10 plus my normal? Yes. Oh, sorry. Then that should be plus 14. Nice. Okay. So, so, so you're led out in the Grailwood. And as you guys walk... Um, as you guys walk up the path, up the sudden path... The sounds of battle fade away, and you're left with just the storm as you're as you're walking up the up the coast there. Um, you get to the Bowery at night, and you're and you're and you're let it, let into the keep. It's a quite a defensible one, and when you look back, you can see Brindle burning in the distance. Uh, it's going to be an uncomfortable few days, or a night or two, in this keep. But even looking at it, you know you've given them such a bloody nose. You could hold them off at the uh, at the at the bridge here. Like, there's no way they'd be able to just rush in here and take it from you. So you're safe for now, and that's why we'll leave it for this session this time round. So, there you go. That's the. Uh... Well, yeah. I got to ask a few people some questions, but somebody kept sticking pig sticking them. <laughs> what can I do? Like, big stuff the other way. Just, <laughs> just what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so no one went up in levels and stuff that time around. Um, but you did. Yeah, you, I've marked off some XP down here on my, on my little sheet. Um, fifty men. Fifty. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But a ladder did thirty of them. To be fair. So it's not really... it counts. So you're, you're and, and ladders has well, gone up. I, yeah. I, I, I said I've made a note. I said I've made a note. <laughs> Has, has the ladder skill gone up, I suppose, is the important I mean, I mean, you guys got, th got three to four feet each, and you're complaining right now about... Um, so, no, uh, yeah, yeah the, the, you guys will probably go up in levels next time, looking at it. Um, sometimes it's more about me trying to gauge progress so you don't become too powerful too soon. Um, <laughs> but whereas, you know, so I'm stocking this up for when you do get level up, you'll get nicer things. Um so leave it with me. You will be going up next session. But that's it for now. Um, I'm thinking it might actually be better to not play on a Saturday because I think every fucker plays on a Saturday. And that probably is slowing us down a little bit. Um, I'm going to... I, I, yeah, I, I would do... Um, the only proviso I've got about doing Fancy Grounds is that certain people's computers might not be able to run it. Uh, so, <laughs> Gee, I wonder who. Yeah. Uh, so... I will try and have a little look at it, and I, I will. I'm going to get it because I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so I'll use some. I'll use the Patreon money to get it, and I will give it to Alana, and she can download it and see if it works. If, and if it does, then we're we're quids in. We're we're yeah. doing it next week. Depending should we on what also version try playing on. on a Sunday? Sorry. Should we also try playing on a Sunday? I was actually thinking of Friday would be better. Yeah, Friday right. should be a little cleaner. Yeah. Because some people are still working during the week. Mm. Yeah, every day is much the same for me. Okay. And it's, yeah. it's um and it's during the week and or it's during the middle of the day in the US, so people who are working in the US aren't on their computers. Tell you what, how about instead of doing it like once a week at a specific at a specific time, 
we look at a weekday and we just ask around, see who's available on what weekday, and then we'll just, we'll just book it in. That's when we're doing it. We'll do it that way. Because hopefully, and then we'll, we'll do it as an experiment once, and if it's still slow, then we won't, we won't bother doing it again. Um, no. Just just to see if it's a bit quicker, that people aren't all hogging the server at the same time. Good to me. All right. Well, cheers, that, guys. I'll speak to you a little bit later on. Cool. Mm -hmm. Cheers, guys. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Guys. Bye. So thank you for watching the next. I I hope that the uh, the cover art wasn't on for too long there. I did catch it, <laughs> just about. Um, but yeah, things are. I've never known. I am putting them through the ringer. I know that they're losing quite a lot, you know. But uh, without hardship, you know, things that mean anything. And that's that's something that a lot of DMs don't get right. Uh, when these guys start getting wins, it'll mean a lot more to them as we're going forward. So. And they will, trust me. So, speak to you guys next time.